dies of bedge. <laughs> Very appropriate emote for specific Some situations. Some of the 7TV emotes are so good. What's the origin of dies of cringe? Like, what is that animation from? I forget. Oh, okay. Well, that answers that. You dumb Killer bean, bean movie. There you go. So what happened to Killer Bean in this scene, particularly? Is anyone, any lore masters for Killer Bean? I'm looking up what the fuck Killer Bean is anyway. Computer Bean Forever is a 2008 American computer animated action film written, produced, and directed by Jeff Liu. What is Blobber Picker? It's just such an Olaf comp, man. Just lock it in. Perfect. Oh wait, it's Sedge Jungle? Holy fuck, it's Cavaliers in the jungle. What the hell? Hecarim Yumi? Dude, wait, every champ that's a Cavalier in TFT is a jungler. Hecarim, Sejuani, Lilia, Nunu, and William. Whoa. Am I forgetting any of them? Hecarim jungle is kind of interesting. We haven't seen that for a while, and I'm pretty sure it sucks dick. There Are were a lot sure of jungle bands that? this one, though. Yeah. I guess I'm quite we'll see sure how. it is le dog shitty. What about Hecarim, Yumi? Mm. Nah. Okay. So you're saying EG's going to lose. Got it. No, I mean, they've got a scaling comp. I don't think either jungler is going to do much of anything this game. Except be a warm body to run up and tank some spells. A shmeat ball. <laughs> <laughs> ben is losing so much HP. Oh! He has heal. It's fine. He can sustain up. Oh, wait. That's that summon. Do you remember when you and Lemon used to always get into those arguments about, like, healing early in a trade or not? Oh yeah, like try to bait the enemy. <laughs> yeah, you always wanted to hold your heal for the last second, and Lemon's like, "Just fucking heal early, man." <laughs> You're not gonna bait these noobs. Wait, wh why would Lemon want you to heal early? The only reason why you should heal early is if you're gonna get an extra auto or positioning advantage off of it. Mm. I, mean, I maybe it has to do something with, like healing before you get ignited. I don't know. Uh, that's true. Yeah, I, uh, that that makes sense. I don't, I don't really remember what Lemon's reasoning was, but I just remember they had like multiple conversations about it. I vaguely remember him, yeah. Oh? Flash Oh! Oh! The fuck you E from Stichwani. <laughs> Benson picking Oriana, actually a pretty bad champion. He likes it though. But his will comfort. it be enough? I mean, they just showed his know. fucking I mean... overall win rate. Pretty comfort. In this game, I don't see him being very useful, but I, mean, I guess into like you can kind of zone his ear. The, the issue is she just doesn't actually threaten to kill carries like she used to. Like when Oriana is good, it's like. You know, you're completely zoned by the ball because if you get shockwaved, it's probably just going to one-shot you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. to be fair, though, if a carry gets hit by shockwave now, it's it's still pretty lethal. It's just every champion has so much ability to outplay it where before it was like, I'm playing Ash and Vayne, and you're playing Orianna, and if you're good, I can never auto-attack. Oh. Uh Dead. Wow, Jensen's just so fucking I think he's dead, dead here. He's got yep. naked autoed by Jojo for the kill. <laughs> no soldier. Stabby stab. And My he hits God. him with the thumbs up. He says, nice is, job, yeah, Jensen. Look at the gold gap on Jensen, really Jojo. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's actually massive. Almost a thousand. 900-ish. I, 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 I want to point out, though, that a lot of the old school mids try to make Oriana work, like Jensen tries to make it work, Perks try to make it work in playoffs. I don't see Oriana working. I, like, I mean, I feel like to your point about like 
even if you get shockwave it's still gonna be lethal like she actually just doesn't have the numbers right now like you have to be significantly ahead for her to actually have like the threat of killing someone like, oh, even if she goes like looting sork boots Dude, like, that was a sick replay did you see that <laughs> they like flashback a stab on the turret <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, that was nice. I was wondering how the turret got chunked right there. I, 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 you're, you're right. It's not so. Low. It's not as lethal as like it should be because Ori should be able to at least all close to one shot you or even hundred zero you if you do. But I was thinking in a team fight, right? Like if you get caught by royalty in a fight. Uh, yeah, I mean, like if, if there's follow up, you can die. But like that's that's true yeah. of like any CC, right? Yeah. It's yeah. just in the past, what has made Ori good is that oh. threat. Oh, this looks really bad for EG. Like, they're actually going to get fucking oh. clean. Yeah, impact's gone. Oh, it's actually oh. sub gap? Holy yeah. shit. It's actually sub gap. Sven made Damn, okay. Difference. Wow. Perhaps Wait. EG bit off more than they could chew. Wait, what is that Sven? Lulu skin? What is this recall? Is that new? Have you seen that before? No. Like okay. summon fucking trees. Never seen it. Wait, sorry, wh whose was it? Lulu. Oh. Nah, I didn't notice. So the C9 gets the Herald as well. Let's see that again. Uh huh. Here we go. 19. They should know that Lulu is here. She should have shown at some point. I think they were just this. planning on like one shotting Fudge. But then yeah, they remember him. they have a fucking Sijuani. Or sorry, Hecarim. <laughs> wow. Actual bad champ. Oh my god. Azir has no ult here. Azir has no ulti, but even if he did, does it change anything? It doesn't look like he has damage to kill anyone, even with it the It might shuffle. make him get out. I, I, think, I think if Lulu's not there and he has ult, that's a dozen maybe that could be something. But yeah, like that's just not yeah. <laughs> the case at all. Yeah. That's, that's when, like, un... Thinking commitment. I, I was talking to Palafox about this. That like he thought JoJo was, in like really really good, and I think he's really good too. Actually, uh, I saw some That's comments in my chat something. saying JoJo's so overrated, and it's like no, I I think he's, I think he's really fucking good. But I think you can't really rate how great someone truly is until you take away the teammates that are like causing great things to happen. In his case. He's playing with Inspired, who like almost never picks a bad fight. This is a pretty bad time to say that since he just picked a really bad fight. But Palfox thinks that like JoJo is really, really particularly good because he just like plays every fight really well mechanically with no hesitation. And it's like, well, if you're in your entire career since the very pretty much the very beginning, right? You're playing with Inspired, who only picks good fights. Let's just say like 80, 90% of the fights that he chooses is good. It's pretty easy to have no hesitation, but like, let's see what happens if he played with a mid or low tier jungler, right? Like just like an average jungler. And and then we'll finally see how his decision making is. Like in this case, it's pretty much the, the same thing. He just had no hesitation to go all in, even if it like looked pretty much like shit. Um, so that's, that's when having like zero hesitation is actually a bad thing. So what was your point about it i guess my point is that i don't think having i don't think like being really really fast to go all in on a fight is a good thing but like pal fox thought it was mm. he thought that it was like it really good that jojo immediately follows up on every play for his team Perfect. and like that that's like an admirable trait and it's like whoa oh. it's a snowball effect right like his team only picks good fights i was i was telling pal fox like you probably have to second guess every single time. Like you have to think for a sec: is this a good all-in timing before you uh -huh. like commit yourself to it? Jojo doesn't have to do that because Vulcan and Inspired and an Impact are three players that almost never pick a losing fight. Yeah, I mean it's um, just, it's like a trust thing that you would build with your team. Like you know yeah. that they take good fights, so you'll just follow up. Like you don't really have to think about it. Like you're just there. Well, during spring though, like EG wasn't super dominant for most of the split, right? Like no. No. EG was like 50-50 record up until yeah, playoffs, and they kind of just true. like turned it on. That's true. Like, there's definitely been instances of EG losing. So, but I mean, I, I agree with you that like, I, I think before rating players like JoJo and Danny, like obviously oh. they're good, but as far as how good they are, I think it it does take more time and like, you know, seeing them with other players as well. Yeah. I think it's really just all about 
how they fit together because if if inspired and vulcan these players who seem to engage really well played with um i don't know just like a, a more experienced ad carry but someone who kind of like has a tendency to like uh have to evaluate you know someone who's been on a bunch of shitty teams i i, I don't really even i was gonna say like stick say because he's played for a really long time but I think I feel like Six A is actually pretty aggressive and fast, but it, it's good that they're playing with someone who just will blindly trust them and figure out if their plays and calls will work or not. But on the flip side, like I think most of the credit should be given to the people who are lead are like kind of leading the team. And so I agree with you. I think I think Danny and Jojo, it's like hard to rate until we see them with different teammates, but I still think they're the best. It's like... I don't I don't feel like they're super overrated by anybody. Yeah, one thing I've always looked to is like, you know, a player who's had a long career and whatnot, like... A lot of times I feel like you can kind of tell how good a player is by like how the players who play with them look, right? Like, if there's a player who like, their teammates always look like shit, I think there's a good chance that like what they're doing isn't not helping their team. It's like making their teammates <laughs> have harder times. But then there's other players who it's like you know, they're not greedy. They like uh, enable their team really well. Their teammates like feel comfortable around them, that kind of thing. And then like, I, I think that's really respectable. Yeah. Respect. Respect. This Herald could actually break mid if it crashes. It's going to be very close. Wow, you're right. It was so close, dude. I ordered food, chat. It's mm -hmm. for you. This recall could actually go off if given four more seconds. Ooh. Whoa. Actually, this, uh, this Azir build is becoming pretty popular. Is is it not a concern to just not be doing damage, though? Nashers is damage. Yeah, I think it's probably just a case of, like, you know, you feel like Azir has enough oh damage if God. he's able to hit. Wow. Impact just got deleted. Oh my, uh, dude, look how fast Berserker is. Locked down. Oh my God. That's, so that's the Ori speed up, Lulu. Just outrunning a severe with ghost in a hacker room with ghost. Oh, oh. oh shit, man. Flash ghost eighty carries with enchanters just going fucking Dragon Ball Z on each other. Double enchanters. Really, really fun. Actually, Berserker technically has two enchanter speed ups. He's just the fastest man alive. Technically. Oriana the Enchanter. Yeah, you said Zillion was an enchanter. He is. Hmm. He actually is. Zillion is more... Actually, ah, they're pretty equal, honestly. If Zillion's an enchanter, then Ori's an enchanter, bro. No. I guess, I guess Zillion's ult doesn't do damage. Neither does Ori's. <laughs> You're an True. idiot. That was a really fast TP by Fudge there. I like that. Instantly kills and it's just like... Alright, yo, I still have timer for the double kill. Fudge is shitting on impact this game pretty hard. I feel like Xenon's comp is... Despite Oriana not being great, like, the comp is pretty clever. Such such jungle became pretty popular in LCK. But I keep seeing it in really shit team comps where it's like Sedge jungle with horn top and it's like what the fuck is that dude honestly no way that's real right it, the the current 80 carry meta is really reminding me of season seven with like art and sensor and shit like yeah just crazy look at hyper carry like you just become turds in the other roles yeah look, yeah, look at jungle and top as well the entire point of jungle and top is to Basically set up for the 80 carry as best as possible. You either have Renekton meatball early gaming for you, 
so you can you can farm more easily or you have horn or you have like you know pretty tanky h i guess atrox is not indicative of a uh, ardent meta but that's a yeah, lot I of mean, the same shit i at risk of sounding like a broken record it's really just anytime enchanters are good i feel like the game just sucks balls for everyone else because like they just enable a carry right like yeah they give yeah. them damage survivability and a ton of speed so it's just yeah. like w w what exactly can you do against that yeah for sure as any other role like there's really not much I didn't I quite say, see like, it until right about here. <laughs> or like, from, it's just so centered around them. From pro AD carries perspective, I think most AD carries actually dislike it when it's like this. It's almost like when, you know, you like sweets, but you just eat like too many and it, it it's so unbalanced. It, it doesn't feel right that the entire game is really all about what champ you're playing, what, which enchanter you have compared to them. You know, mm -hmm. do you have Renata versus Lulu? Do you have Yumi versus Lulu? Uh, it's just... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's not it's very true. interactive I, I I remember, for you either. I think I remember a conversation we actually had, Double F, where you said something similar, where... I, I don't remember exactly what season it was, but it was around, like, this, like, hyper carry with Enchanter meta, and you said, like... I thought you would like it because, you know, like in your early days, you were known as like the vain Kog'Maw guy with, with these comps. And then you said something to the effect of like, I actually don't like it because, you know, anybody can do it. Like, it's not hard to be the carry with a ton of supports. Yes. Which is a good point. Like, yes, it's actually way harder to carry when there are assassins, when it's not just front to back team fighting. I, I actually feel like the game is more skilled from the AD Carry's perspective. Now, if you want to just face roll with like very just average mechanics, I yeah, you know, I think this is your meta, you know, you just you just overpower people with raw stats. That is what that feels like with like a Lulu. You don't you're not yeah, dodging a... thresh hooks. You're not you're not trying to outplay Nautilus. Like you you you're just sitting there with the shield and right clicking the closest target. That's that's what game is about now it's so weird too because like this is actually just a competitive only thing like you try this in solo queue it's just the total opposite effect oh yeah I mean, this which jerry has like a 40 something one rate and so it's like really shit to your one yeah rate solo queue. and it goes like back to the ardent meta like ardent was the meta in solo queue like it wasn't actually disconnected yeah yeah I, and I, I would say part of that too is like i think in solo queue the the like split of resources throughout a team can be a lot different looking whereas competitive it's like almost always a similar trend of like you know everyone gets their first item around the same time but then like the jungler stops being a, a champion laners start taking camps and just getting hyper accelerated yeah where like in competitive you're never really worried about like your top laner just inting 12 kills and dealing with like somebody <laughs> one-shotting you repeatedly yeah that's true I like, or like, a, 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 like a blue cane coming crazy. out with like yeah. 20 kills and a prowler claw. <laughs> Legit. <laughs> the junglers just don't get enough gold from the random kills in competitive. And that's why I, I like would this. absolutely love them like next season to just like try to make it like every role has more balanced opportunity to get resources. How do you do that? I, I'm just make it so laners like can't just take camps all the time. Like make it actually hard. If you're not the jungler to get camps. Do you think that junglers are the most oppressed class of humans in the world? <laughs> right. They should. You, th you think that's the only factor, like for, because it's removing junglers. from the jungle? Uh, I mean, yeah, it's. It wasn't a thing in the past, and we didn't have this kind of like disparity grow because it's literally like you're just getting double the resources, right? It's like. Thank you. There's only a certain amount of resources available for each team to farm, and when like one one person is taking multiple people's sources, it'd be like if you were just farming two lanes, like you could just farm mid and farm top at the same time, kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know why I, laners should farm the the minions in lane. I think that should be the, for the jungler. Sure. Yeah. Stop being mean, Double junglers. <laughs> adding a lot to this conversation. Great insight. <laughs> Just puking out shitposts. <laughs>
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm actually, I'm completely griefing you right now. It's not. <laughs> I'm just telling you, man. I woke up. I woke up this morning. I had to let my maid in at 9 a.m. and I, I was hungover as fuck, man. I, I don't know what's going on right now. Yeah, I saw that tweet. You were watching LCK at the club. That shit was so funny. <laughs> Oh shit. Fucking based, bro. We're getting a big fight here. The first one of the game? Actually, no, second. There's a fight at Herald. Wow, they just pulled off. I, I cannot see a world where C9 doesn't just curb stomp them in team fights. Like, the, the game has become so oh. stat checky. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, I mean, unless C9 Wait. fucks it up. I mean, JoJo's totally out of the fight. Danny's. Zerker's all. Is Danny's just terrible free hitting here. everyone. Oh, wow. Everybody, wait! Not anymore. And he got shockwaved. What? Where was that ball? Where it was, was Ori? on Camille, I think. Oh, really? That was really interesting because almost no one could see the ult. I actually, this is the again. fucking. This is the same shit when everyone's memeing me like, "Oh, double F didn't flash." It's like, dude, it's not easy to flash every single Oriole. It really depends on the situation, right? Like there, I didn't. I didn't see the ulti. I don't think anyone saw the fucking ulti. I, I need to see Only it. afterwards you're like, weird. oh, it was on. Oh. It was on. There will probably be a fudge. replay. Hopefully. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Ori's ult is like the most flashable state it's ever been in because they actually yeah, changed the visuals. No, when it, they it is, first changed it, it, that shit was confusing to fuck out of me. It just looked like a really big W. I was like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm watching, I'm watching Danny's Danny. POV. He has vision in the banana and the try and oh, Baron Pit, so he can see everything. He almost killed Lulu. Jesus. Yeah, I mean, so he was getting damage. a lot of damage off in this fight. God, that's... Oh, what? Dude, it's wait, still uh, so but, subtle. I, it I, was kind of subtle. Like, I'll give him that. Wait, I didn't wait, totally wait, wait. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go back one more time, actually, and then I'll catch the same guys. Fuck? Is it it the was skin? hard to see. What? Yeah, I think this skin might actually be a little OP. I, I, I keep watching it and I still like have a hard time seeing it. Dude, Pulling I feel like there again. was something else that was like really dark on the ground before I like Yeah. It, it's the Azir soldier spawning is like a dark there's like a shadow on the ground and it, then the ball is another little shadow it, on the it ground. It wasn't on Camille, guys. It, it he moved it from his initial cue like it you you just it's just so hard to see. It's so yeah, hard, that, hard that to see. Yeah, that one was pretty hard to see. It's not a remake, guys. Like, it's not. It's not like he couldn't flash it, but like it's. I also I don't not think it's reasonable to expect him oh, to flash that. I, I, I we were watching with full hindsight, looking for the ulti, and I like it's hard to fucking see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. I feel like the a lot of time really... like the, the sound helps with that kind of thing too in game. Like you can with, hear it. So maybe Dark Star is a little bit broken because the Dark Star one has this like very bassy, deep sound to it. It's pretty hard to hear. Mm. Yeah, it, it sounds like a black hole or whatever, you know, it's supposed to be like kind of thematic. And also, the, the visual is not clear at all. Oh. oh. JoJo getting blasted. Why did the star just go in there? Uh, I mean, yeah, he over. had to is the thing. Okay. I mean, this game is so done. They, they, they picked Hecarim. They weren't trying to win. No, I, like, I do think so much of this game just came down to that Herald fight, right? Like, giving away... Harold and three kills early in a game where you know you're both playing to a similar win condition of like a front to back team fight style thing uh it's gonna be pretty rough yeah yeah like, ah, dude, is just for his not, blind it's not a good champion like maybe inspires just getting fed as fuck on him so he's like getting a wrong read but like hecarim is actually so weak right now I think it, it it could be a some a good pick with Yumi against Oriana. Like I think those interactions are good for him, good against Ori, because he can kind of ignore her ulti, and she's easy to zone. I don't know. I just think top matchup looked miserable, right? Impact made a mistake at Herald, like you said, and then he got dove, and then he just got repeatedly fucked up. Like he got solo killed for getting top turret. He was. Pretty much a non-factor ever since his first mistake. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's like I'm sure some of it was misplay, some of it's matchup, right? Like when you fall behind a Camille with Ignite, like good fucking luck. Yeah. If you're anywhere on her screen, she's getting on you and killing you. Uh huh. 
19. But yeah, I mean, well played by C9. It's so funny when I look at EG through this lens of like, Inspired basically is <clears throat> the guy pulling the strings. And like, the you can even master. see it right. No, you can even literally see it right there. Like, everyone is kind of deferring to him and talking to him immediately after the game. And he's, he's just, talking. Uh, it, it, he is so valuable as a player. I, I would not be surprised if he got 10 fucking massive offers from, from literally every single Aussie story after the split, just because of his reputation alone. And obviously his play, amazing. He's he's MVP. All right, I think he will be. Hmm. Who else is in contention? MVP. Just Pearson, I think. Really, Pearson. It would be rid yeah. completely ridiculous if Pearson won it over. Yeah, there's no shot he's getting that. Yeah. It's because oh, it was someday. It was, my bad, my bad. It was someday. It was someday. Oh, someday. Inspired it was, was like, yeah, Pearson's been playing really well, but he's not getting any credit. Yeah. Ooh, another day. It's, it's another gotta be inspired, sneaky though. Sneaky medios forgetting to submit their predictions. Let's go. I'm not forgetting. <laughs> I, I like making my predictions after I've seen the games. Like, what? <laughs> Why would I predict before I know what's going to happen? That would give me a chance to look wrong. And I don't do that. I'm always right. You know what? You're right. That's a smart way to do, do it. <clears throat> JoJo looks pissed. I don't think anyone's happy after losing, but he seems, everyone seems totally fine. You know, it's like Sven looks just as pissed as Jojo does after. Everyone's Sven just, is, everyone's just serious, I don't think I've man. ever seen Sven not pissed. <laughs> I think that's I, his I, default state of He just being. won the game. Why is he mad? Yeah. Just, he likes being mad. What's wrong with that? Hmm. I, I think you just have to compare people saying like someone looks pissed or whatever like you have to compare them to their to the control group like to the standard what do they look like just normally and like i think i think you do looks totally yeah I, I mean i was also mostly memeing when i said jojo looks pissed yeah. he looked pretty normal oh i see i see yeah i still remember i had this uh <laughs> interaction with sven at the at the after party of that one where he got like scarnered in game five. Oh. and you remember that? I went up to him and like he was just kind of like sitting alone drinking, and I was just like trying to make conversation. I was like, "How's it going?" And he just like legit yells. He's like, "Oh!" <laughs> I was like, "Understandable." Understandable. It was actually nice so funny. <laughs> Fuck! I remember you telling me that actually. Yeah. It's pretty good. No, I'm not telling that. Oh my god, is that C9 Rush? Whoa! Rush don't miss. Why the fuck are we seeing a Rush montage? Because they're probably going to ask Rush what he thinks about this game. It's the Where's the Rush? I like Rush. Kind boy. PV man. Oh wait. Yeah, see. They're doing a where are they now about Rush? After leaving LCS, as many people know, uh, I'm a Korean and Korean Korean guys, males need to serve for mandatory military service. So I will I have been doing my mandatory Rush. military 20. service for 18 months. Yeah. And after that, I started my streaming career again. And as you know, I'm a streamer now. I actually didn't really play League of Legends much while serving for military service because like Korean military army base is pretty strict and you can't really have your freedom. So I was away from League of Legends, but right now you I aren't allowed to make money, again, but I'm slowly getting my skills back and I want to uh, be a player that people can easily look up to. Even if I don't play as a pro, maybe I can help player people to be like improving maybe or maybe I can coach people something like that that's my plan for now but it can oh, be he changed. just fucks so sneaky and he just fucked you up LTS what the f the time i've ordered it for mvp it was like so fulfilling like people recognizing me and it felt it felt like before before being pro and before getting mvp i was just like a random one of the good player but after getting the rework it means that i'm kind of like proved <laughs> He's just a random smooch. 
That's does how they still, end it. Does I he am... still uh, stream? <laughs> yeah. yeah. He streams at night. He starts at 9 p.m. Oh, wow. I fucking love watching Russia stream. It's so funny. I mean, he, he recently That's got back bigger. from uh, military. Like two months ago or something. I see. I see. <laughs> no, yeah. I, I was watching him too. It's, it's pretty banger. I mean, I feel like Diablo 3 has more build diversity than PoE right now. There's like 20 viable builds. But I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know enough like PoE set, late game to sets. compare it, but the, they are they are like very attached to each class set. But I, I will say Diablo lacks depth, and PoE lacks any sort of appreciation for like a new player experience. Oh and yeah, being, I mean that that one's being awful. Any level of like casual friendly, uh, of being accessible. The fact that you have to like download five different programs just to start playing the game trading and like planning your builds then watch like youtube guides and it, it's just too much man the fucking game is like half to, half the time it's a spreadsheet or a, a random app that you have open so i think i think there's like elements of both games that are really sick i, I, I don't know i, I just yep. i can't believe that uh, that these developers by the way they how do they not just like see it? Like they they don't get it. Like they don't agree. They they just would rather do it like their way. Cause like I think in both instances, like Blizzard and GGG, the developers of PoE, like they, they could change it if they wanted to. They just don't want to. I'm done uh, counting. Uh, <laughs> they threw me in game one. Um, so now obviously they ran it back. Um, we're gonna see. We're probably gonna beat it again. Yeah. All right. Seems like it. Yeah, are they, I feel like they're back being back told to like hurry it up right, or something. Like I mean, every yeah. interview feels like they're on a fucking like timer. Yeah, they, like they, well, they have a fucking gun held to their head well, right behind the camera. Uh, 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 like, hurry that you, shit you up, boy. To, you, you have to see it from the coach's perspective. They don't want to be there. They would so much rather be watching the game. And then when they, like every second that they spend doing the interview, they are not oh. watching the game. Oh, oh. don't. Oh. Um, I do. Not bad, not bad. W where did oh Jojo warded Raptors? That that's actually that's a nice gank. So obviously, like Jojo died to it, but given the info Jojo had, right? Like he saw Wu Kong, he knows he did his full red right side clear, and then he's going top side. But you would assume he's doing top side camps. But Blabber just skipped all of them and then ganked from top side. Yeah, yeah. So it was, it was probably like a wave earlier than he expected it would come. So that was a nice gank by Blabber. Oh. Oh. Wait. What's he gonna he do? Smite and Blabber doesn't. Oh, oh, nice. Does he win that if he uh, starts Atrox beating? doesn't have push. No, no, not at all. You get your ass whooped up. Oh, okay. Wait, Blabber's smite is up faster than Inspired's here. How did that happen? I, I don't understand. Did Cosmic. that mean Inspired sat on his first uh, smite that whole time? Nope. Cosmic Insight. Oh, it makes it makes that big of a difference. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty big. It, wow, it looks like that's like whole it, it's 20, a, 30 seconds difference. Yeah, I mean, like a pretty common play you can do with jungle is like if you know you have cosmic and they don't, like you can get level three and then invade them, and like your second smite will be up before theirs, so like they have no chance of getting the camp. That's mm, a pretty wow. common thing people will do. That's pretty. But cool. this one is slightly different. It's like, uh, Inspire just held his second smite. Blabber used it. But you can press tab and then see how many charges the jungle item they have to know if it's up or not. Mm. Five head. Yeah, it's pretty normal, actually. Not too five head. That's pretty smart, Medios. Yeah, What'd it's pretty that? standard stuff. Oh, just playing the game. Ever heard of it, Sneaky? <laughs> uh, well, I don't really play jungle, so that's pretty interesting to me. Hmm. Oh. I'm glad you could help me learn something new, man. Not interested to see how the other side lives, I guess. <laughs> Is Impact allowed to just crash this wave down two long swords? Actually, a legal maneuver. Huh. So, is this good for Fudge? Like, this is this part of laning that's always weird to me. Like, if I was the Fiora and I was in that situation, I feel like I would, like, overcommit to try to not let him crash the wave. Maybe that's just, like, not necessary. Because doesn't Impact just have a better base now? Uh, well, 
Bloods doesn't want to come back to lane, immediately take a chunk while Impact gets to... Ba it, I guess in your case, you think that uh, you Fudge could act actually stop Impact from getting the wave in. I think a giant minion wave is always worth more than a couple long swords. Huh. Yeah, I mean, it's just the idea of, like, Fudge recalled to get the long swords, and then he came back before Impact got the crash, but then he just, like, lets Impact get the crash. I don't yeah. know. That's always the part of laning that's a little fucking lost on me. The wave was massive. Yeah. What, Danny? No, that's not oh. That's not a real play. Oh? That's not a real play. Uh-oh. Is he dead? He's, he's, he's probably he's, dead. He's waiting oh, to flash the to fly. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Damn. Oh, double kill! Boom! Jojo is here. That's... Zerker's dead. Uh, probably... Zerker? Uh-huh. Wait. He can maybe get the execute. Is he gonna flash for it? No. He still gets the XP oh! though. Wow, Vulcan gets it. Jensen's not happy. That's pretty decent. I'm surprised. Well, he just Danny walks bot, gets two. Danny did his know? signature move of running it down in lane. This actually made them win playoffs last time. <laughs> he was playing Jinx like a, a bunch of games in a row and he was just getting fisted at level two. Yep. Yep. Did Juani and Lissandra is always a weird combo. It's like, you're both hard as hell countered by Merc Dreads. Yeah. So the beginning Four fire champs. The beginning definitely did look good. For, I, I, I like the way Berserker played this a lot. It's like, if he flashes now, right, he tanks the guaranteed Q. He has so much time to just wait. I mean, it wouldn't have been close either way, but like... I mean, it was very... a nice flash. He, he didn't even have vision on Ezreal starting the Q, so it was like total reactionary on seeing the projectile. Yeah. Real nice. I have gotten shit on by Berserker Sevelius very many times. Oh! Oh! Ooh, let's oh. go. This guy is. He didn't go for the EQR, he just ER'd. I, I think mm -hmm. that's good if people have flash. Because if you try to greet the Q. They'll be able to flash for you all. Yeah, actually, what you said about Lissandra and Sedge makes me really worried for C9. Those gems don't Blame. scale great. They don't play very well off each other and they don't scale great. But they're also not on C9. <laughs> oh, what am I fucking saying? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> For EG, bro. Uh, for uh, Golden Guardians. Yo, bro, can I see your vase real quick? <laughs> uh, um, uh, um. he's never drank an alcoholic beverage in his life. Not true. Never gotten drunk, though. Also not false. Yep. Damn, dude, looking at, If I'm Sejuani with cooldown boots, Bammy to a Divine Thunder Wukong, I'm crying. What's that? That shit is not bussin'. Oh! It's just a repeat every time. The same thing happening to Jojo. But this time... Dude, that, that's hard to avoid. A LeBlanc with a Wukong. Just like any time he goes for a chain, there should be a monkey there. <laughs> Wukong is definitely... the jungler that makes stuff happen the most uh, that I've seen. Oh my god. Uh, Insta-flash. I, I, I don't even think... When you play early game champs like Jarvan, it's... It's comparable to what I've seen Wukong do. Fucking blow up a fed Draven. Just perma ganking mid since level three. Dude, it's cause Wukong cannot farm well at all. Like doing Raptors on Wukong feels so fucking bad. Just die to it. How do you cope? On fire cape? No, you just fucking gank. You just hope you don't need a farm. <laughs> you take Gromp and Wolves and buffs <sighs> and then you and crabs and Dude, it's like vain. You just fucking hate yourself when you're hitting the minions. Yep. And you're like, fuck this shit, I want to do something else. Oh! That's Interesting for target choice. Oh, I think this is bad for EG, yeah. what do you think? I think this is actually good for C9 here. Mm. I think oh EG's actually God. fucked. In this game yep. and the series. Wow, EG is getting... 
They're the getting destroyed. curb stomped quite hard. I think it's time to put Inspired on a champion that would have a bit of fucking agency. Like who? Wukong? I don't know. Jarvan, Wukong. Hecarim v. has agency, but wasn't, a, no, wasn't the best trash, champion. No, Hecarim is trash, bro. Wow, Fudge is Your champion plain blows, right you don't have agency. On God. Ooh. Oh! Fudge is so interesting. Uh, he plays He plays to the same condition so often. He finished his, he finished his, uh, <laughs> Thunder as basically as quick as humanly possible, right? And then same shit with Camille. He just starts going crazy on impact. Feels like impact is so disrespectful. Do we think this Herald's going to do anything? No, it's not even going to crash on the turret. It won't crash, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, that's sad. At what point do you just let it time out instead of giving them the Herald like this? Yeah. They, they can farm yeah. Eternals off this. If you kill the Herald there, it counts as a Herald kill. Oh. Eternals, huh? Holy fuck, he just got 245 health off that <clears throat> Sunder plus Vital proc. How do you lane verse this shit, man? You actually need Grievous. Uh, well, I think Impact needed to have finished Gore, Gore Drinker by this point. Uh, that's... I, dude, really I, I think they're rushing the Chainsword thing is actually viable in this kind of matchup. Maybe. Like the big executioner. You, you would really be surprised at how little it changes the situation. Instead of healing 200 and what did you say, 240, it would reduce by 25%. So let's see. It, the only way it's increased to 40% is if the target is less than half HP. So, and you also have to apply it, obviously. So like she can't be half HP and then Q you before you hit her, then it won't yeah. matter. I don't know. I think Grievous Wounds is too weak. There's too many boxes that need to be ticked for it to actually make a difference. It's why, like, every game that there's a Yumi, some idiot is spamming, buy Executioners, why don't you buy Grievous? No Grievous? Yeah, dude, getting Xe is totally worth delaying my item spikes by 800. So I can stop her from healing 1,000. I'll make her heal 750 instead. <laughs> In a best case scenario. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, that Grievous nerf didn't actually make any sense. Uh-oh. This is so he's kill. He's dead, he's dead. Yeah. Oh, Fudge damn. is actually fisting fucking impact. Holy shit. Yeah, he's... And he's doing I'm the same thing series. in both games. It's just these Divine Sunder champs that can rush it and impact is either... Oh, first game he's playing Ornn. In this game, he's tier 2 boots rush, so he's delayed on his spike by 1100, and he's just getting completely stomped in lane in that yep. timing where it's like, oh, I'm 1100 away from my item, but like you're way stronger. I, I think it's like, it, it's respectable when a player can whip out shit like Camille, Fiora, counter picks and competitive <laughs> and make it work. Like, yeah. those are not the most forgiving champs if anything goes wrong. Oh! Yeah. Solo kill, right? Nope. But for Just who? Kidding. For no Dude, yeah, look at the itemization. Jensen building Merc Treads, Wukong and Fiora already have it. Like, EG actually, they, they have no options. Like, you, even if you find a pick, like, you, they just don't die. So I'll all say, of a sudden, C9 just doesn't need to respect anything that EG can do. Actually, what happened to this guy? We have Ezreal. It's pretty abnormal. It's, 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 I think it was Sedge Yumi one too. Yeah, it must have been Sivir Zeri. I mean, we were Calista. talking about dumb shit in both drafts, but I think EG has two losing lanes every draft uh, so far. They had Ornn into Camille last game. Uh, the only winning lane was the Zeris. Oh. Oh. Second. I, I think a big part of it is Inspired's oh, jungle picks. That was absolutely Blabber. int. Wow, they. that was a great play by EG. They actually forced Blabber to do that. <laughs> Holy moly, like... It's crazy. Mind control. Danny had a really good reaction, though, to the flash in. That was fast. Yep. Not not what you like to see if you're C9, but they're still in a good spot. And that, that actually was fucking kind of wild. Oh. Oh. No flash on Fudge. This could make EG chase him down. 
Uh oh. Berserker? Oh. Oh. And he is. Dude. They're what? gone. What am I watching, actually? Like, what the fuck is C9 doing? I don't know. They, they, they have a fed ass Fiora. No one who can remotely match her split, so they kill themselves mid. And then <laughs> they bring Fiora mid to kill himself too. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? That was not a real play. <clears throat> what what makes more sense to me is that C9 is asking, hey, can you can you cover mid on this timing? Like, we're not trying to dive. We just want you to cover. Oh, yeah? Is that what Fiora's doing here? Covering? Okay, actually, you're right. <laughs> I, I, I think the initial move was actually fine, but the all inning on right. on Ezreal that, that baited the fuck made out of them. absolutely no sense. I, I don't even know what to say. I, I was trying to give C9 the benefit of the doubt that maybe there was some reason for them to do that. Uh, Fudge legit just started run, like everyone just started running Ezreal down lane. Like I don't know. It okay. So what I think, like the only thing that would remotely make sense to mm -hmm. me is if they called Ezreal had no flash from the previous Wukong play, so he thought he could just get him with that. In his defense, if Ezreal mm. had no flash, he does die there. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, obviously, who, who they is, did not account for the Lissandra with... TP. I mean, that's that's one of the things I always stamp out so fast on my team, is like, you make a call as if it's a 100% call, but you're not sure. The worst thing that you can do is to say something as if it's certainly true when you actually don't know. You're just completely eroding the trust. It's like the same shit when you say, like, bot no sums, and your jungler comes and they flash, and it's like, yeah, yeah now they have no sums, low. But it's like... It just came up. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. Bro, it's three minutes into the game. How did it just come up? <laughs> if there's even a, you know, a 5% chance that you're not uh -oh. correct on the call, you say he might have flashed. Yeah. I mean, a mistake for sure. Wow. And maybe that's not even what happened, but I'm just... Yeah, yeah trying yeah. to understand i feel like that's always like the fun part for me watching like good players play is like obviously mistakes are going to get made but like you try to understand like what were they going for like what were they hoping or expecting would happen there yeah i think the simplest answer is fudge made a pretty big mistake and a mis misjudgment same with blabber they both just went crazy and if c9 ends up losing it's probably just because of that sequence right there like they're they're so in, they're still so in control, but before then they were like everywhere winning. No hope for EG. Yeah, it, it's it, C9 has lost their momentum off those throws for sure. <clears throat> wow, now EG. Are they really just... at a point where they can't even contest a dragon? That's no, they they're actively choosing to do this. It's not a cannot situation. It's like uh, I would rather go top, and they're funneling. They're kind of funneling Fiora, but they're also just doing a quick little switch off. Yeah. Oh, dude, Fudge is leaving base with half mana. That actually feels so bad. Like, Fiora without, like, Presence Pretty of Mind or Mana Flow Band is, like, it's actually just hard cucked by her mana. Like, she ooms herself so fast doing anything. Her mana costs are weirdly high for how little mana she has. Yeah, I mean, she's very spammy. I don't really agree with C9 not fighting the last drag, though. 3.5k ahead. In that situation, you're fighting for soul point. You have a lot of reasons why you would want it. Maybe the reason why you wouldn't is Ezreal's on his two-item spike, but then you have to ask yourself, when Ezreal's on his... Yeah, is it better for us on the next drag? I don't really think so, but maybe. I mean... C9 I might could think so. I could see C9 taking the approach of like they have a split push comp, uh, so they don't really need to worry about getting sold themselves. And even if EG Whoa. stacks three cloud drakes, it's like not that big of a deal. What the fuck? This is so weird. <laughs> I love these fighter bruiser top fights. It's like <laughs> it just looks so cool as a spectator because they're always dancing around each other and like. There's a lot of little mind games with everything. I I feel like it's really hard to tell who's going to win top lane fights. Usually I'm not sure when I'm watching yeah. two top laners fight. Yeah. Uh, I, it must be... I mean, a lot of them are skill matchups too. With everything. Like, AD carries well. Sometimes I get asked, like, well, how did you know you were going to win the all? And it's like, I don't know. 
<laughs> I just played it. A bunch I of just times. went for it. Yeah. Also, you can just sort of imagine. Sometimes, like, if, if I, like, close my eyes and I think about an all-in, I can, like, play it out almost exactly how it would be in the game. And I think for doppelganger, it's the same shit. All right, like, do it right now. Close your eyes. Tell me how this Aphelios versus Ezreal goes. Uh, I mean... Oh, nice. I like this play. Bye -bye. Two soul inners go to lane together. Yep. That shit is very hard to play against. Because you have to respect this anytime you don't see LeBlanc. Jensen's second time doing this play. He's fucking crazy. I mean, this is the split push we were just mentioning. Like, they want to not force team fights. They just want to yeah. sit around and be fucking annoying. Hiding bushes. He's yanking Ezreal right now. Might get him killed. Lance the chain. Nah. Oh, hit the cat. That's just sod flash. I mean, it's good. I like the way C9's playing. Like, I, I think even if you can win a team fight, there's not really a good reason to. Because EG has, like, no response to what they're doing. And oh. not enough force to punish them for splitting. Oh. Okay, well, surely C9 goes for this. They've had every good thing happen for them the last uh, 10 minutes. The gold lead hasn't grown at all, but Fiora has gotten to just farm perfectly. Uh, solos are both up a level. Every Everywhere else is just pretty much dead even. Fiora's top, though, two seconds before drag. Whoever is shot calling for D9, I, I would love to see what what's the play here. We, we just giving this? I think you just let Fiora go top, yeah. Try to jerk him off. If oh. they wow. if they do something am, really bad like this, he could very, look for TP. I very, very surprised that Jensen did not get ulted there by Joseph. Yeah, I feel like he should be ulting that. I mean, he, he doesn't die, though. He oh has my more treads. Jojo? Uh... Oh, wait. Oh, wait, 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 now Jensen's Jensen. Jensen. Is he Jensen? Dead? Oh, Fudge didn't have TP yet. Fudge? Oh my god, dude, what is happening? Is this good, though? I feel like it's happening. What is happening? Over this fight and Fudge's is um. absolutely nuts. Fudge is oom. Um. It's actually the Fiora problem. She runs fucking oom. Um. Oh, oh, Danny? Oh my god. Danny just went totally ape shit. Oh okay. my god. Wow. god. What a fucking. That almost looked bad for C9. It, that was, it was bad for C9 until. Ezreal eat forward and then just gave the enemy team a free turn. Yeah. I'm not even I'm not even really sure if he hit his Q if anything changes in that situation. I no, think regardless no. of him whiffing the or, or hitting the skills, like that was just a bad E. He just wanted to chase, but you can't Yeah. You can't go anymore. Yeah. Well, I, I think he, he can slowly chase with Yumi. It's just the fact that he pressed his E aggressively instead of just using his Using his like position to pressure the enemy team to turn around, and then he can yeah. eat defensively. I mean, it, it was a pretty tense situation. Oh yeah, I, it was. Uh, but man, it's it's the second time this game that Danny just completely griefed his E. So you would Let kind of see. think that he would. I'm watching Danny this time. I didn't see him last time. That Ian right the, there the, on the ball. No, 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 no. The, it's a, it, first time was in lane when he just eat forward and got himself and Vulcan killed. All right, I'm watching the Danny Ian. It's in a little sec. So I, I think the situation is good for them, right? Like Here. it might not be kills, but it's definitely a mm. chase. It's definitely a slow chase with TPs maybe coming in slowly. Yeah. But, you know, it, every condition was was up for him there to E forward, and it just still was awful. Like he, they're they're low. they he has flash up, so he can I, I flash he, back. We just do not do it. Wu Kong being in that it. that bush, I think, was the thing that fucked it for him. Yeah. Oh, oh. Fudge is fucking wow. dead. Uh, Zen's dead. They're paying his hair. How the hell did that happen? Yeah, that's actually an amazing question. How the hell did that happen? And I, now I'm going back to question, does a game look just look completely different if C9 played for the previous drag? <laughs> does the game look completely different if C9 doesn't get picked and then force a fight instantly? Yeah, <laughs> that too. Jensen do be poking. Yeah. They are killing this Baron decently fast. And then it's going to have to 3v5 euro play it. 
Wukong, no ult. Zerker has some, though. So. I still not think that EG's, quick. EG should be able to turn, right? Like, oh. that's, that's, that's truly is the play just to turn. Wait, dead to die. Oh. Yeah. Blabber's in! Blabber's in! Berserker? Oh. EG gets it. Berserker? Oh, Berserker? Wow, oh. he's dead. He is free throwing this game actually oh so hard. Oh my Holy god, shit. yes. What the fuck? That was insanely close, man. Jojo lived 1 HP. Berserker Wait. fucking... It's actually pretty fucked up now for C9, huh? Yeah, I mean, that's... As well just got a full That's what you don't arc. want if you're split pushing comp is throwing and giving them Baron because now all of a sudden you have to respond to them. They can just start sieging you. Yeah. Oh, the, you, literally the worst thing that could ever happen to you if you uh, are, are when when condition is split pushing is giving Baron. Hey, uh, we didn't really see how Fudge and Sven ended up in a two v five, but that was like pretty fucking. Huge lapse of judgment. Like I, I don't know how you end up in that situation at all. Like, dude, look at those tips of the that, penises. Is that right? It, is Lissandra nine hundred damage right? I thought her ghosts were doing work that fight. I, wow. Nah, I'm, they just. I'm surprised. Slow. Okay. The threat of them. Zerker played that fight really well. He did. He did. At the end, he did get hit by a couple things and just got immediately one HP. Yeah. But, I don't really blame him. That was not an easy fight to play. He fucked Impact. He starting up the shred on Lissandra. His whole team is oh. dead. I don't think you can catch her. Nah, you can't. You can't catch a Fedora in the side lane. And she That's tips. the thing that Irelia is missing to be like a viable champ. Is I Irelia can't get away if people try to collapse on her. Yeah, but like champs like Fiora and Camille, like they're actually hard to catch inside because they're just fucking fast at getting away and chip over walls. Mm -hmm. I really it does die pretty easily when caught. Yep. 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 She does. Oh, yeah, sure. Zerker with the Gale Force root on Danny in T. Get the clone, get the clone. Woo! Dude, you can actually stack conquer off clone. It's kind of busted. So broken. We're up for a strike. Farm infinite gold. Yeah, you can do that. Oh. Not the best Renata. Renata ult hard whiff. That was. 15 seconds on drag, and I'm sure that C9 just has to give this now. That's too I'm important so of a CD. so what that Renata ult was trying to do. Yeah, just by time, I guess, on the turret. It's just so frustrating to watch teams do stuff where it's like, we could get a drag, or we could get a thousand gold when we're already winning. I think I could understand doing that stuff when you're behind, and you don't have a high chance of winning the you fight. You meant the but... third drag? Yeah. Yeah, Cause it, like it if was I weird. was on C9, I would just say, "What the fuck!" Like after this game, if we lost, which I think now they're gonna lose, um, that is like a I'm losing the game kind of decision. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and let's take like, a crazy gold on the other side, but they didn't. It, it, it's it's all opportunity costs, right? Thousands of gold, sure. What they got, totally not worth it. Yeah. Yeah, it would only be if they thought they couldn't win the fight. Which would be strange, given the scenario. Yeah, it, I'm still trying to think about EG. Like they, they if I, there's one thing their comp lacks, it's really just consistent damage. But maybe Ezreal is still such a massive threat that it doesn't matter. I, I mean, I will yeah, point they, out that the there's also no, squishy. there's no big tank you're trying to get through. Yeah, no real front line for C9. Yeah, maybe Which Ezreal can make is the just... DPS thing not as important. Yeah, he will just do a lot of damage. Even with Frozen Heart. Usually I don't see Divine Sunder on Ezreal, but uh, oh, he won at this game. It doesn't look bad. Doesn't the Chinese rank one superstar Ezreal like that? Yeah, or he did. Whatever happened to that man's? 
What, what happened know, to Ezreal man. in general? Wasn't he like super popular? Just shit with enchanters. <clears throat> mm. Only good with Yumi and not even the best AD carry with Yumi. I mean, yeah. Oh. Oh, Danny Ooh. just failed his flash. Inspired's quite deep. Oh, oh just hold it. Oh. Just banged yeah. out Danny. Yeah. Okay, wait. This actual end angle, perhaps. Yeah, there's 2v5 here. He just got Jojo can kill himself fucked. for the wave. He he should wait for the next wave. So, like, if he kills himself now for three minions, it's not worth. But, like, when the next wave comes, it'll be, like, a stack of ten. He should just kill himself to, uh... uh yeah, Impact can proxy the next one. So, proxy, I think so Jojo just kills himself for this. Down to... But the problem is, he let the wave reach the turret. No! So it, it gets rid of the black door Oh, my God. Oh, Jojo, Jojo totally messed that up. He, he had uh, to go before the minions yeah. got to the turret. Oh, he totally messed that up. Wow. Goju kind of trolling it there. He, he's just never been in that situation before where he know, he should throw his body as fast as humanly possible for the minions. Uh-oh. 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 I mean, look at the last team fight. Like, Danny failed his flash. It was not even a high-pressure situation where he's like a in I'm threat of dying. Counting. He just straight failed it. Was it fail? EG hit are actually like they're having such an off day so yeah, far like this is not at all what i was expecting any side flash yeah. he flashed one inch there's no way he meant to do that he got literally zero value out of it i don't even think he flashed in a way where it would stop him from getting chained oh, yeah it was actually, a super yeah, well, short flash yeah. i think he was trying to go over the wall and he just didn't get it yeah if he goes over the wall he might still die to fiora oh, but yeah. When I saw it, I thought he like side flashed a chain like in the moment, but damn, how did they? Not how even. Did they get so caught. It was just Blabber having a really good flank. Yeah. It's chilling. Oh bush. yeah. Damn. I mean, the, a mistake from EG, but like this was honestly a pretty good play from C9. Like he came from bottom side, dodged all the wards to walk through mid between the minions and come from top side where EG didn't know they could be. Mm-hmm. So like that that was a nice play by Blabber, just like working off the info they have. False sense of security. Crazy game overall, like pretty good. C9 just tossing it. Making it pretty unwinnable for themselves and they just win. This is so bizarre, man. This is not like uh this is not normally. C9 is not playing amazing. They are making a lot of crazy mistakes. If if EG is still losing despite the fact that C9 sometimes looks like they're trying to toss it as much as possible, the mid throw where Fiora just dives, multiple failures, team fighting, um the Baron thing where they just watch enemy team take Baron then get like triple killed there, getting caught right after getting dragged, like two people recalling just like randomly dying. C9 is making the game actually as easy as they possibly could for EG to come back and like it still feels like it's not enough. So Maybe just a bad showing by EG, but feels like 100 Thieves is just, they're just better. I want some play. So far. So far. Two series. I mean, not even, this, this one's not even over, but. Wow. I think it'll look a lot different if Inspired's on a more like strong playmaking champ, I think. What'd you say? Hot, oh, hot, please. Yeah, I agree. They should put him on some something with, uh, you know, Vi, Jarvan. Something with a, a go button that actually... Uh, Wukong, you know, more self-sufficient. I mean, at, at the end of the day, Hecarim and Sedge both have a go button, but they are pretty reliant on uh, a lot of things to align for, for that to be good. Yeah, it's, it's also, like, your strength relative to the other junglers, right? Because, like, if the other jungler just whoops your ass, then... It's it limits what you can do quite a bit, like where you can go. Cause you know, this game Wukong got a super early Sunder and all of a sudden Sedge just can't fight him anywhere. I don't think she could in the first place, but definitely not when he's two O Divine Sunder at ten minutes or whatever. Well, if there's one thing that I kind of believe in EG, eh, it, it's it's the power of the, you know, kind of like three more veteran players to pull it back in a best of series. Like they've been in really high pressure situations before and never flinched. Um, 
I don't think that it's it's getting super emotional or anything over there. It's probably just getting really constructive. Will EG take a single game this set, or are we going to have to see the Heimlich Maneuver being performed? I mean, they have Seraphine, so it's actually just go game four fast. It's True, a dub. They really want to win. Who's playing? Danny, for sure. It literally doesn't matter. Actually... <laughs> is of zero consequence who's playing it, <laughs> what role it's in, what level or item she has. I see. Oh my god, it's Sinna Seraphine. Belveth, 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 please, one time. Wait, they actually picked it. Skyon. Don't they know is his passive's actual? nerfed? Wait. I just saw them wheeling out fudge on stage on my second monitor. The boss has entered the building. Holy They're shit. They're actually doing an emergency substitution mid-draft. Why are they wheeling him out instead of him just walking out? <laughs> <laughs> because the boss took him out. Finish oh. sniper style. Fucking similar. Understandable. Hey, Jensen see. blind picking LeBlanc. He's got some balls. What is it? is it? It's gotta be Ari, right? No, I mean, this is much AP. Faker, Renekton, mid. Azir? I think I like Azir better than Ari. Yeah, it's just sustained damage is the king here. Sustained damage over time. It's like consistent sustained damage per second over time. That's uh, a DPS. great team comp. DPS per second matters way more than that, though. Yeah, like they don't need the the burst DPS of something like an Ari as much as they need like the sustain damage per second that they can keep applying throughout the fight. I feel like words are How about the sustained damage DPS per second over time? Mm. What's like the derivative of a DPS per second? In. <laughs> Talk about the game challenge. Impossible. <laughs> oh, the game. Oh. I think if if you if they have someone with math on their staff, they could find the integral of the DPS per second and evaluate it using uh, an under under the curve graph. Remember when you guys were telling me that uh, math class in school is pointless and stupid? Those were good days. Those were good times. <clears throat> huh? Who's laughing now, bitch? Sure. Did you guys ever go to Poland? I went For, yeah, once that. with videos. <clears throat> Did we go once or twice? I don't know. I thought it was twice. Might have been twice, yeah. It was like one of the sketchiest fucking places I've ever been in my life. <laughs> the hotel was like legit felt haunted, but the food was not bad. Oh. Oh! Wow. He didn't die. He got the shield barely, barely, barely from uh, his Holy E cast fuck. there. Jesus. And he didn't get blocked by Trundle. Yeah. Minus one. Fishy. Did you guys ever hear about that thing that Shy did where he like moved his head with Sion Q for the timing? <laughs> yeah. He like moved his head back and like moved it forward when the Q was ready. <laughs> the fucking Bonk. troll. Bonk Wait, that's not... That's not troll. I respect it. I mean, it. I understand it. It's fucking the troll, though. It's just like when fucking you see musicians moving their body with the music. It's not necessary, but it is like a learning mechanism. Yeah, it's exactly like that. You're right. <laughs> I mean, just like a musician moving with the music. <laughs> no, but it's a timing thing. Your silence cue is a timing thing. Do you yeah. do that? Do you bite your lip every time you go for a last hit? <laughs> yeah, I get my wiener quick tug every time. Ah. Nice. EG <laughs> is looking pretty uninspired so far. What the poise on C9? A lot of restraint and poise coming in for C9. In these first two games, I think oh that is. Oh my, he's dead. Yeah, he's yo, yo, so dead. Or is he dead? Oh, wow. Yeah, he's completely dead. 
He's so dead. That Sneaky. was played so well. Holy well, fuck. actually, he fucking died, Medios. I thought I know, for a sec. I'm saying he's so dead. I thought for a sec Blabber undercommitted, but no, nope. he just had. Nah, I think Blabber would have died if he kept hitting him. Yeah. Ah. Oh, he got that one. Jojo has been bleeding this whole series. If they oh, keep applying this pressure, here. they'll be in a good spot on oh, the 20 minute mark. He didn't he see it. He didn't. No, he just. Jojo didn't see it. He saw him on a ward, but didn't realize it. And I guess. He also actually, flashed before the chain was shot. Like, if he flashes the chain, he never dies there. It's actually yeah. not just Jojo. That's actually a team effort. No one saw it. Yeah. Yike. EG, not having a good day. Although you, you you pick your spots, to look at the mini map, and at a situa in a situation where you can be getting ganked, like you're looking at mini map more often than someone who's like perfectly safe. Yeah. Think he that guy to die who dies to gangster wars, and he says, "Yo, what that wasn't my fault. Me? Anyone should have told me." Oh, uh, well, we're playing you a five and five te team game here. You think uh, they're not playing for each other? Do you just sound and comms? Dude, I, I honestly think when people get solo that? killed, it's not even on them. It's on their team to like tell them to look out there. You think if Vulcan was literally in front and saw that, he'd just stay quiet and say, "Oh, ho hope my mid laner saw that." Oops, guess he died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he just need to hold his hand. True. He's looking at that shop. He's looking at his juicy fucking Magi Yumi TV <laughs> game. He's counting the fucking gold. Thinking about how long the sword's oh, gonna I'm be. I'm glad Elaine Scion with no damage item, just a third of Red Buff's health with his Q. That is just nice. This part says, thanks to the leash, dumbass. <laughs> Wait, that's, that's actually so troll. You ever, you ever <laughs> give up a wave just to go leash the enemy team's red in seven minutes? Like, nah. <laughs> This is like when, when junglers invade your ass videos, the rumble, because they just kill you at red. Yeah. <laughs> you're fucking top laners. <laughs> Do you remember that? Like season four, when we're playing as the Korean teams, just every rumble is just fucking killing me. Killing you at red. What the fuck, dude? It's so fucked up. <laughs> just like, just, just like, play Yo, better, boss, dude. Is, is top missing? Just hear the rumble come down. <laughs> I mean, it was like, this was early days of League, like, people didn't do that shit, it was so fucking wild. Nowadays, it's like you ever play against a Talon or Zed, and like, this fucker's chasing you down all game. Yep. Yeah. It's actually, like, before the durability updates, Talons could reliably, like, at level 6, with, like, maybe a Dirk, could just, like, flash alt you and ignite, and, and would kill you from full as a jungler. It was so fucking troll. Yeah, sounds about right. No hesitation, you're just on their screen and you're dead. <laughs> I had that happen when I was auto field jungler. It was totally miserable, man. Yeah, it's just like, oh. well, fuck me, I guess. Oh? I don't understand why Fudge is zero death so far. Is he playing this champ correctly? Hmm. Not a what? single use of his passive yet. What does Boss think about this? About this... Did he still die when he plays Scion after they nerfed the inting build? His playstyle never changed, man. Only mm. his results. <laughs> Did he actually go down in LP after those changes? I'm sure. What the fuck? I want to watch his stream so occasionally, broken. but like it's usually early well, in the day when he I'm. He was also in trip. Korea and then he came back from it right as the changes happened. Hmm. Does no one else think it's weird how every league is doing playoffs at like the same time? Why is that weird? I can't even tell. Are you trolling or? <laughs> no, because it's just like, what are the odds? <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Wait, Jojo actually misclicked or what? what was oh that? God. Oh. Whoa, he was a bait. It was just a bait all along. It was a nice bait by Jojo there. <laughs> Jojo just totally fat fingered his Q on accident, and then <laughs> it turned out like pretty good actually, or at least better than I expected. He. You guys know on Aram, Seraphine has like 50% reduced like healing and shielding and she's still broken. And then in Summoner's Rift, she's just that, but like twice as strong. Sure. Oh, wow. Pretty fucking nice design, I think. Did you just see that <laughs> bugged out Zeri W? That oh, is yeah. really weird. Why does that happen? 
Oh, thank you, Blabber. I really appreciate the uh, the pillar, bro. Traffic cone, actually very fitting to stop the fucking drive-by. <laughs> oh, wait, that was a fatty Seraphine combo. Oh, JoJo killing himself. Dude, JoJo's Could having be... an off day. Yeah, that's On one way God. to put it. Wait, this could be a turn for EG. They can win this. It's EG's turn? What's yeah. it their turn for? For some... Their turn to win? Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh. That oh. actually oh. Juicer W, that. oh my goodness. What the Holy fuck? fuck. That was a nasty Zeri W. But it's actually yeah, over. Never mind. Yeah. It's actually all ogre. There's it no way you can outscale with a Seraphine. True. They should just FF. It's actually over... For C9. I don't know, JoJo's kind of fucking throwing this whole series. Yeah, yeah he's, he's playing pretty poorly. Playing Check out that traffic cone that actually sussy. saved two flashes from being blown immediately. Though. <laughs> that was, That's that funny. was pretty fucking bizarre. To the start was really there. good for EG. You can see like everyone on C9 is pretty low. Spudge is in a horrible position. JoJo just tosses it. He just gives him a free target. It's totally not worth it. Trundle's out of the fight anyways, right? He's a melee champ, 50% HP. There's no reason for you to just kill yourself to finish him off. And yeah. if anything, all he did was let EG, this really supportive team comp, lose their main damage dealer. Oh my god. Actually, just. That shit nasty. Just ha Is Zeri's W still a slow? Out. Yeah. Yeah. Not as OP as it was on release. It's like 30. Oh, so they just they lowered like the slow amount, but it still slows? Yeah. Okay. I played Zeri like once in my life, maybe twice. She is really jarring to play. Like, she is so weird to play. Um, it's kind of annoying to have to press Q so much. Yeah, jungle mechanics. They're nice to pressing <laughs> buttons. Nice. <laughs> the most suppressed class. Nice. Eight kills. I actually think, though, that the game is never over for Seraphine, and EG got the drag, which is. Pretty insignificant right now, but it Nexus could be. Nexus blows up. Like, what do you mean never yeah. over? Games end against Seraphine all the time. That doesn't make any sense. Did you ask if Zeri old slows? W. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I heard old. I was like thinking about it. I'm like, I don't think it does. And Double was like, yeah. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> oh. That's the problem with us all being so old is like our hearing and brains are gone. True. Every oh. year I lose another wrinkle. Bye bye, Fudge. Okay. There we go. There we go. Boom. Oh my god. And Blabber just completely griefed it when he took that range minion. EG doing a little bit. But let's see how Jojo can Signs throw of it right life. back. Oh no, like. I I'm. I'm not even saying it completely ironically, but I'm pretty sure EG just wins because they have Seraphine. This champion's actually busted as fuck. I mean, it's, it's live or die on JoJo. Killing himself. I mean, I, th I think EG's going to have to throw really hard for Seraphine to not be OP enough to win. Mm. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I would normally agree with you, but it feels like EG's... EG's, like, carry players are actually having a tough time right now even you would not normally agree with me you never agree with me <laughs> uh-huh i'm always wrong i never True. get to be right i'm sorry man you're right this time actually you're right for the first time holy shit it feels good i think uh oh wow what is the what is the trundle pillar they're doing Stopping traffic, giving Harold the right of way. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Woo! Oh, if you get that last range CS, that would have been so sick. From the Renektons we've seen, it does seem like this Bork build is just better than Gore Drinker, as far as like being useful. It feels like with Bork, you can actually just kind of shit on his lane. Go for a nice split push. Like, I, I mean, just. It's not only split, like you're you're not squishy. Not a full tank, but you can still go in one piece of carry. I just think it gives you a lot more threat to actually kill people. Mm-hmm. 
Core Drinker is I can definitely see not a side lane build. I, I feel like you could even do both. Like, I don't think Gore Drinker with Bork is like a bad combo. Just, I think not having Bork as Renekton is like, I don't know. Does you, a lot of you lose a lot of threat in yourself to just be like. I think, I think Bork does a lot of damage. I'm still not sold on Gore Drinker Bork being good, but it it feels like this is a pretty common LPL build for Renekton. Yeah, I mean, I think the Bami is like. Frostfire, Sunfire, Chem Tank are all fine. Oh, apparently Blabber Fat Fingered Flash off screen. That's there's so many unforced errors from that Fat Fingered Flash that I didn't actually see to JoJo just like completely miss he, he misclicked his Q and he just like shuffled back to his original location when he was trying to just get away. There's a lot of unforced errors. I was expecting this uh series to be a little bit more high level but so far it's pretty much a shit show compared to yesterday at least yeah oh nice little flash in judge still has flash he might be actually okay yeah he oh he just oh. gets flashed on at the end and dies anyways now eg Ooh. just has to give this it, it, it's not a terrible result if, if they don't all just die trying to 4v5 it, but looks like they want it. Did, was there no option to Seraphine ult that choke while C9's all running through it? That seems kind of weird. Oh, wow, are you dead? kidding me? That's Ooh. actually Blabber lethal on too? them. What? Dude, Hold Seraphine is just one of the most disgusting champs known to man. She actually she, did she, like... I mean, I, I'm not even exaggerating. 2,000 damage whack, in man. that team fight, and it... I mean... Okay. 4v5, by the way, just straight up. There was hardly any CDs on C9 side blown to kill JoJo. Just some flashes, two flashes. I am. JoJo is actually phoning it the fuck in this game. Dude, this is the upper bracket curse. I, I, I was trying to mention like people, I feel like people are way more likely to just sort of like go limp, like give up because they know that there's something after this. This is not Jojo tapping into his fucking killer instincts. His, his true survival. potential. Yep. Yeah. As far as cooldowns being blown for Jojo's death, like I think EG and Cena, they both lose so much, and I don't understand. Let's. I'm gonna watch this again. Sven and Blabber both die. So Blabber Dude, look just how far gets... Danny is from Sven when he assassinates. Actually, some. Blabber got fucking shit on. What is he rocking forward for? What the hell? <laughs> yeah. I don't know why he's walking forward. There's. But there's nowhere for him to go at a certain point. Danny's actually just doing 2,000 damage over a wall that's like untouchable. 2,000 damage. That is quite the exaggeration. Nope. Look <laughs> at it again. Please tell me why Seraphine can safely clear a wave instantly from a thousand range. Please, I need to know why the Enchanter needs this ability. Well, she's not it's supposed to be a support, is why. Oh, like it... well, okay. I mean... Well, tell me, uh, why does she full heal her whole team and give him huge shields if not a support? I mean, obviously, that that one's the problem. Like, the wave clear is whatever. There's plenty of chance yeah, to yeah. have wave clear. This is so safe, though. I mean, compared she, to she was definitely She was definitely designed with being a, 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 as, as a carry in mind. I mean, it's down to her AoE fucking both two AoE, like, nukes to, to clear waves. It almost feels bad to play with her as a support because she can consistently take your CS just by like randomly trading. I kind of similar to Zillion, all honestly. Yeah. But like usually enchanters don't Perfect. have that. Oh, not the CS. If she's not good, how will they sell skins? That's true. I mean, that is a really fair question. We haven't considered that angle yet. Perfect. really depends on what you replace one of her most important abilities with like if you if you yeah, take out her w then yeah she has three abilities and they're not probably that good enough to carry her but if you replace her w with something else that's also really useful on top of what she has i don't think she has a single bad button in her kit like q is great e is great but I how many champs have bad good. buttons like it's not really an argument no one has a bad mm. button mm. 
I guess that's true. Perfect. E? Nah, uh, Bel Belios E is pretty bad. Lul. Lul. No, I, I just think the the problematic part of her kit is the W, and the rest of it's just, it's there, and obviously you find it annoying. But, like, I just think if you tune the numbers to make the key wave clear, not actually wave clear, and it's just like, okay, she's just not a champ. And it's just like, okay, well, there's a different problem. You now have a champ that's just fucking useless. But I'd rather have that. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm saying, like, to fix the problem, you have to fix the W. The W yeah. heals way too much. Like, I, like the, the five-man scaling is a fucking troll. Like, the more people in it, the more it heals and shields. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. I would also, like, I would argue, I don't think a cha any champion in the game should be able to safely clear a wave. Like, it, it, it's like the Zillion thing. Like, anytime Zillion's good, it's, it's actually, like, really AIDS. Oh, yeah, I mean... Like, you should, mm. it should be a risk to actually, like, full clear a wave. Or the game yeah. just gets boring as hell. It takes away, like, the entire... Well, I, I think there should be a... Of sieging. I think there should be a slider. If you have a lot of crazy wave clear, like, of Ziggs, right, then you lack consistency you, you you lack defensive options like a Zerith lacks defensive options but those are balanced like they're balanced by like slightly lower damage you know no defensive options um maybe like not great scaling probably as a result of like every button being a skill shot but then then you have like like you're saying zillion where it's like pure consistency almost no way that you could fuck up uh, unless you just don't press your ulti or you know you double bomb at a bad time uh, on an unslowed target or something like that so I, I think the same thing with Seraphine, right? It's like you can miss every ability, but then as long as your W hits five people, you're you're creating crazy value. Yeah. Then it's really toxic because oh. you can't snowball because of a wave clear. Hold on, there's a team fight. Let's just watch this. It's looking pretty EG favored. T9 is losing all their HP. Danny is hitting some great Ws here, five man. Yeah. It's very impressive stuff. For sure. His W is keeping everyone topped. It's weird that he doesn't have tier. Usually, instead of Cosmic uh, Drive, you would see Archangels, and the real reason is, like, Seraphine can stay out on the map so long with Archangels. She just gets infinite mana. Dude, my chat just reminded me about Gale Force MF Ulti. That was fucking cool mechanic. Like, I actually thought that was so... So cool. It was, dude. It was totally unintended, but, like, was anyone really bitching about MF Ulti being... I think like so. getting split. Really? Who yes. the hell was crying about that mechanic? Anybody that plays against oh. it? Does it feel unfair that MF has to blow her entire fucking mythic item kit and her ulti to like split her ult to be wider and like less travel oh, less did far? Did I just hear the phrase mythic item kit? No, it's like she, she literally <laughs> doesn't even want Gale Force ninety percent of the time. You would only Yo, buy it because I'm of that. I'm using that one. My my whole mythic item kit. <laughs> That's awesome. This whole mythic item kit that I bought, man, I'm so invested. <laughs> Holy shit, dude! For years, I've been cultivating it. Oh shit! C9 starting Baron. Oh my god, ow. Well, I, I really don't think this is the play for C9 no, at all. Really bad for C9. Really bad for C9. Just About impatience. The oh. Seraphine ult with oh wow, everyone on EG just like perfectly dodged out of it. And it's looking still oh, losing. Oh my Danny's god, Jojo just shit his pants! Did he? He Did flashed all oh, nobody. Oh, literally oh, zero, man. Oh, 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 plus plus 900! Plus 900, by the way. Yep. I have AIDS, oh, man! No Holy shit! Dude, <laughs> JoJo's literally one, dude. one HP, and he, yeah, gets the fattest heal from Seraphine. Fuck this champ. Fuck this toxic champ. Dude, uh, it wasn't even a fucking surprise this is gonna be the game result. This champion's so fucking stupid. Too many stupid champs. Okay, okay you need to calm down, bro. You ain't no, wrong. No, you saw that? God damn. I mean, I think at a certain point, people just need to ban Seraphine. If they're if they can't play against it, which it's it's becoming a pretty popular pick for Hundred Thieves. I think they're three zero on it so far. I I think someone did a stat check for Seraphine overall in the last like two weeks, and it's like ridiculous win rate. Yeah, was, I, I heard she was like banned. nine and three in the summer season, and then three zero in playoffs, not including this one.
I don't know, okay. she, so she overall... must be like a reverse scrim god champ. Like, she's just getting pounded in scrim, so people underrate her, but then, like, on stage, she just shows up in 1v9s. That, he, that, that heal actually would have, actually would have fucking died so yeah. hard, Dude, man. Like, th this is the, the dumbest shit about these kind of champs, is it's like, you can't punish this champ. Yeah. JoJo literally went in as their backline carry, Lash ulted nothing in the middle of the team, and he was not punished. And he basically baits the enemy because he's so low and then doesn't die. I think, uh, the, I mean, this is pretty fu forehead, but like, you, you, you just you should just play the game fair or unfair, whatever. If I was C9, I would call that like, we need to kill Seraphine or we can't win the team fight. She has no flash. There's a timing where maybe they can catch her with like no Baron, but like flash still down. Uh, the game obviously gets exponentially harder and like, it's not as easy as like, oh, just kill her forehead because she had she's protected pretty well. But if I'm C9, I think that's the only win condition I could see. Yeah, I mean, good luck, I guess. Good fucking luck, man. I think if, if I'm EG now, I am not worried at all about Danny dying against these champions. Like some shit would have to go so wrong for him, them to get on him and kill him. With, and, and even if they did, it would be like they'd immediately lose the fight afterwards because they're diving through everyone else. It's pretty rough. Uh, like, he has some extremely missed position. Or Jensen have a really nice flank. Jensen's like the only person that can even kill him. I doubt he can even kill through a W. 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 I'm just happy it's not going to be a 3 0. Yeah. How the teams adapt to a bunch of different draft picks, you know, that's. Well, oh, Jensen isn't playing. Pretty interesting. Oh, Ooh. Fudge just engaged on uh, Sejuani, not really what he wanted. And holy shit, they did I blinked and Impact had just assassinated Sven. I didn't even see what happened there. Yeah. Same. Yo, oh, dude, he must have ran in with fucking cloud move speed and just. Oh him. my god, yeah. <laughs> 15% move speed is, I mean, with no diminished returns, it's like 50-ish, maybe even 60, up to 60 move speed on everyone. It's like pretty ridiculous how strong that actually is. Okay, well, I think it was kind of funny. I, like, somebody said right after the fucking drag fight, it's over now, but somebody. Somebody I said it's over me. now in champ select, because it was. Yeah. But despite JoJo's best efforts, oh, this wait, champ oh, cannot lose. Wait, wait, no, Berserker oh. can carry this. No, oh, Danny might throw. Oh, it's oh. over, it's over. Sion wins 3 I knew it. Oh. Wow. Wait, Vulcan killed him. Vulcan? Yo, if, if Sion just wins right here, that would be the most fucking epic thing ever. Yeah, that would be crazy. They cannot end. It's impossible. And it's, it's really because Vulcan oh. fucking managed to kill Berserker at the end there. I think right now, if Berserker was alive, there would be a real threat of the enemy team just running it down top and ending now remember before we were looking at it it's like it's basically impossible to run from nexus and end the game like from your nexus yeah they're, they're way too far it would take them like 20 seconds or but you, maybe like but 15 you, seconds to get from mid to the top tier two and by then they get an inhib but they won't you end. put yourself in a position though where if the enemy team makes a single mistake while you're going for that game ending push like they chain die or you get a fight in their base that's good like you you have the potential to end it's pretty nice. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're back I mean, they, to the they wall. definitely you're... get a lot out of it. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think it could end. Yeah. yeah. Kind of want to see this again. So Berserker, he gets stabbed. Vulcan just kind of walks up and autos him right before dying. Yeah, maybe it wouldn't make much of a difference actually either way. But when when I'm when I'm like in an open nexus situation, I think any risk. So you know, percentage wise, you're probably gonna lose the game like 90, 95 percent of the time in this situation. You're getting shit on the whole game. Open nexus, soul, whatever. If you just get a chance where you get a fair fight in their base and it's just like winner takes all, you know, we lose this fight, we lose the we lose the game, we win this fight, we kill your nexus, it's always good to take. Like you always take that I don't even want to say coin flip because it's not, but you always take that like gamble. Is that a EG's gamble? going bottom here. The way you described it. <laughs> Well, this is, this is a weird you're gambling one. Gambling on EG. them fucking up, for sure. You're is bottom on... really the lane to be in here? I feel like you. You were trying to say something, but you, like, forgot. Because you said you take a fight in your base, 
and you win the game in their or, base. or you don't take it in the enemy's base like you ace uh, them and you okay. take a fight in the enemy yeah, yeah, team's yeah. base yeah, yeah as they're okay. respawning that, that makes sense. i would take yeah, that yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, th I think that was missing that makes sense oh my bad my bad i was like in your own base i mean like yeah you're gonna fight your nexus <laughs> oh shit uh danny's ulti was horrible and oh he, he actually whipped out. everyone how much does it matter wow let's see oh wow that scoop the first scoop that did something oh, that did Danny instantly almost kill died. jojo yeah. he almost died to scion ghost i think eg just wins Hey, you great. think they win? Wait. Well, how do they win? Oh. You know, sometimes Danny does shit that like is unexplainable to me, and this is one of them. Why did he go Void Staff and not Sonya's? Like he doesn't need to do a damage. He just is running the risk of throwing the game by not having his Sonya's. Let me and see. I, don't, I guess it just doesn't matter. Explain surfing. <laughs> hey, you don't really need Void. You don't need much. A pulse, maybe W. I mean, how do you how do you guys not agree with me on Seraphine W like being the reason she's insane? Uh, I, I think you're uh, like I'm, I'm letting it sit a little bit more. Like I think you're probably right. It's just the rest of her fit. The rest of her kit gets like I get like the impression that it's a lot stronger than it probably is because. Yeah, like if you literally she's if you change so out her ability good. on her W yeah. for something else, like anything else in the game, like she's a fucking terrible champ. Like her ults her ult's fine, her Q's fine. Like you said, it's like slow. The E, like they, they do things, but none of it compares to the power of the W. Yeah, yeah I mean I, I think we're arguing different things, I guess. Like I agree that W is problematic and without it, she wouldn't be as good. But I, I, it's like a side point that I think no champ in the game should have access to that level of wave clear. Oh, I mean, yeah, that's like, a totally I think that, that, that just like denies a level of, of gameplay. Like it just takes it like strategically takes away so many options. I would give a lot more credit to EG for this win if Jojo didn't have another really, really poor showing. I think <laughs> yeah, impact <dude. laughs> and uh, Impact and Inspired really stepped up this game. They made a lot of good plays happen. JoJo just made the game really chaotic for his team. Just like unpredictably dying. Mechanical that errors. Was one um, of his worst games he's played of his whole career. That was like just permanently trying to lose. Yeah. Well, he, he was definitely saved by top jungle and uh, really good draft overall. It's good that at least I will say it, it's it's good that they have an answer to Zeri, so then it, it makes the draft so telegraphed. It's like from C9's perspective, from Blue Side's perspective, if they get Zeri, but leave open Seraphine, that's kind of bad. So maybe they ban Seraphine, and then that makes that triggers EG to then, uh, sorry, it, yeah, C9 bans Seraphine, and then EG gets to respond ban with Zeri. Uh, something good. I saw an LEC they have. They were playing like Nila. I think everyone has some crazy shit that they wanted to play. In LCK, they played Singed Nila. <laughs> I saw that. That was Actually totally insane. wild. Yeah, like people are starting to come up with really creative answers to that. Singed the counter. I don't know. I think Gen G is just fucking best team in the world, maybe. There it is, the Seraphine ban. So does EG match ban Zeri, or they are okay with, uh, I'm almost thinking like give, give Zeri and then pick like Sivir Lulu. Okay, this Wait, is weird. Didn't C9 first pick Lulu there and then get either Sivir or Zeri with yeah. it? Yeah, so now w what's happening? It's going to be Zeri versus Sivir with no enchanters, or it's going to be Sivir Renata, which is not really anybody's favorite thing to play. What you said is probably the reason why they banned Lulu. There's one good support and there's two. This is why blue side is broken. Like I, we could fucking go over a million scenarios, but like the rule of thumb is like the more pinched a roll is, I'm done counting. Blue side always gets first dibs. So in this case, there's only one good enchanter up, right? Between Lulu and Rana, Lulu's way better. So you're totally right. 
C9 would have first picked Lulu and then had a choice between the two AD carries that pair with her. And EG is just forced to be reactive. I think in this case, it's like... I don't even know what's better. Sivir or, or Zeri with no Enchanter? Which one is like more self... By themselves, good. Well, I guess we good won't question. see that because there will be Monkey a Man. Renata Inspired in a here. Monkey Man. I, I would feel good if I'm an EG fan. Monkey Man's good. Uh, don't know what you would pick support here for EG that would make this good. Uh, don't I don't I don't think that Karma's a good champ at all. No way. No that is... way, man. Maybe this is the best they can do. Like, there's no good options. Really, the only thing I could ever imagine EG have done differently in this draft is pick Renata themselves. Even though Sivir Renata is not that great, it's just about taking it away from Zeri. And then, then you run the risk of just having a weak comp yourself because you wanted to take something away from them. Then they also get counterpick. Hmm. Oh, Poppy Jesus. Says, oh. They are really putting Zillion. all the fucking... They're just putting it all on Berserker this game to hard, hard 1v5. I mean, I, I think Fudge needs to pick some kind of carry. Oh, I hate that. Oh, Olaf with... It's Sedge top, Olaf jungle. Oh, you're right. I oh Holy my shit. God. I fucking... Five I like head. that. Dude, I, I am just so... You're, you're a genius. I'm behind. Olaf counters playing Alistair, Olaf. dude. I thought he was doing Olaf top blind. That would have been totally grief. It's actually a flex, technically. Yeah, I mean, they, they could the flex round. it. I yeah. I would be very surprised to not see Blabber on Olaf. It's a flex. Yeah. The muscles. I see nine is... Impact should go set for triple Vistayan, but they, he doesn't do it. Jax Mihoff. Does he pick his own world skin? Nope. Reminding Fudge, I'm a world champion, bitch. Perfect. He would never. Uh, this is sit probably not down. the game to do it. I. What do you guys think about these drafts? Who has sit the advantage? down. He's a world champion, and you're Be not. Be humble. <laughs> I I think C9 has super advantage in draft. They outscale think, massively. Do you think and... League should do a season with like TFT synergies for champs? So That'd if you have funny. like multiple champs of a similar group, you get a bonus. I played Glacial in LCS once. <laughs> it actually was good. The comp was insane. It was so Bully good. Top and Ash Brom Bot, and I think it was Lissandra Sejuani mid jungle. Actually, not bad. Let's have Braum. Oh or my wait, god, no, Max Baldo says, Anivia where mid. are you at? Anivia <laughs> not, uh... Yo, you see him? <laughs> Legit. Anivia Nunu, I see. Let me see. Wait, what are you saying? Oh. Max Waldo was first to the coach handshake, and he's doing yeah. like the looking around <laughs> emoji. Oh, yeah. I see it now. <laughs> Yo, it's pretty good. Can we get much higher? What does that mean? What's that reference? It looks like a reference. Like, can you smoke some more? I feel like that wouldn't make any sense. It's probably something else. Oh. Wait, um. It's I'm Kanye? Wrong. Oh. When was the last time there's been a pro game where a player, like, actually forgot to start items? And it's then, not, like, got to laning phase. It's not that crazy. It happened yeah, at Worlds. Well, okay, Literally, like, getting to lane is the hard part. Like, no one I mean, it'd be one thing to, like, not do it and then recall before minions spawn because someone's like, yo, no fucking items. Nope. But... Like, like, literally, I'm pretty sure Rookie went into lane with no items once and on at Worlds. Recently? Mm, I don't know how recently it was. Might have been during IG's Worlds win. Rookie versus Yukal. Someone said Rookie Game 5 in 2018. So four years ago? Jesus. Damn, that felt a lot more recent than four years ago. What the fuck? COVID time doesn't <laughs> count. I think anything that happens in 2022 is just as recent as 2020. True. Oh, we got booze. Medius is wrong, I guess. They didn't like what you said, bro. Oh. No. We got booze? You guys are trying to get drunk? Yep.
It's almost game five. I mean, I guess we have to. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, no. Nah, you oh. don't get it. You're not smart enough. Sorry. Oh. Uh, this is so many times in a row. What the fuck? Is this fasting <laughs> Ari or what? He's oh. not losing the farm. It's just. It just seems so unnecessary to telegraph where your jungle is going. Like it's. It's now just fucking loud and clear to everyone that the enemy team is starting Herald, right? What like, about Danny and Vulcan? Well, yeah, but it makes it way more easily understood how close Harold is to being dead. You can I create a lot of uncertainty by not showing. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's bad. I'm just saying there, there's a downside to doing what they're doing. Yeah, I mean, there's a cost. I would say the benefit is that you can move faster with Ari to the Herald. Like Ari can come because Bot's already shifting mid. She doesn't yeah. have to like wait for that cannon to like beat her ass or take two turret shots yeah that's true plus like it, what the it oh, is okay. technically spellbook uh oh Sorry. holy shit it is more xp overall to share it than solo despite what solo laners may tell you that is still the case what the hell are you saying have you been spouting bullshit for the last couple minutes, Medios? I'll just stop talking. <clears throat> okay, this is now a Valorant you. post stream. I'm just sitting here just looking at it. I've got my. Th oh, oh, go on! Oh! Dude, uh, no I fucking hate way. hate to see God, that. Dude. He goes for that, the scout and he just yoinks it. That Yikes. is one of the most insane ways I've seen someone steal. Holy like, inspired smited, fuck. right? Did, 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 did he not smite? He didn't have it? I'm confused I think right he now. Smited. They, like, fucked up the vision, but that was... Oh my god, he just smited it a little bit late. too early. That is so fucking tragic. Yeah, just shrug it off, honestly, this drag. Nah, I, I don't think you do. I think it's over. GG, okay. bro. I can't focus after that one. That is so wild to see in a game like this. It is. It's a actually such a big consequence. 16 HP. Miss time, misjudge damage. Look at this cloud drag bonus speed here. Germacia. Or sorry, Bromacia. Why are they just running his ass down? What the fuck? They're like, you gotta use your alt, buddy. They get they get a very, <laughs> very, very small window of mid prio here. Oh, actually, Jojo just ends up TPing back anyways. It's like, <laughs> it's what he wanted all along was to just get a nice little base timing. So, it's just watch his watch his miss. Oh, that is oh a miscalculation. <laughs> oh, and it was so close, too, to him taking it back. That was so painful to watch. But, like, I'm so confused. Like, it was kind of bad. Like, the dragon didn't even heal. He didn't hit it. Like, wh why did he think that would kill it? Oh. Normally, I'm pretty sympathetic to, to smites being bullshit, but that one, like, was pretty unnecessary smite. I think he probably felt a little bit of, like, they're collapsing on me, and I'm 40% HP. Like, we can't really... You know, I'm, my life is in danger here, potentially. A mm. zillion Olaf can run people down real quick, so... I don't think it's Maybe crazy to think, like, he... Sacrifice the dragon to them? He, he just wanted to get it and you. get out. But, like... Mm. I don't know. Mistakes are always mistakes. That th that interaction bot lane, by the way, though, is... Why, I would say, you... Don't typically like melee supports into Renata. It's, like... If Renata is just positioned well, where she's like a wedge between you and the enemy AD carry, you just don't get to, you just don't get to go in. Leona, Nautilus, Alistar, it's all the same. You just get pushed away on your engage. And yeah, then you get chased that down. That looked weird. You like comboed in and got fucking queued to the side. Yeah. For Alistar, it's particularly bad too. It's like, you get, oh! Oh, no, it's nothing. What is the point of this? Just to blow ulti? Ulti for uh, ulti is not mean, the worst. He actually has to leave. Oh. He's chunked. Oh, actually, wait a sec. No TP. This is a lot better than I initially thought. Yeah, as I was saying, you should play against Zillion. Yeah, th that's true. It is good to leave my 1 HP. You're just like, oh, oh man, why didn't you kill me? I think the three plates is great, but what's... Also, they get a, a th 
end of that is a lot of information. Like you got to see right there is Sven fogged bot side. Blabber just cleared the wave, he fogged bot side. Like they get so much info and on the flip side, EG doesn't really show their intentions anymore. They just drop the Herald and disappear. I guess now Fudge is calling that uh, Inspired must be bot side since just randomly counter jungled him. I don't know. I think the longer this game goes, the more miserable it's going to be for EG. So you frustrating. You can really say time is on cloud Nine side for this one. <laughs> oh. Good it, really, it, it really actually is. Fuck you, Sneaky. How the <laughs> fuck are you ever killing Zeri through these two anti-death mechanics? They need, if, Dude, imagine they went Kindred this game. That would be the perfect Kindred comp. Renata, Ziliano. All right, what, what happens if you... Sejuani. What if you were I think, playing I think at Renata. that point it just gets really confusing. Not even good. Can you get Zillion ulted at the end of the Renata revive? Who the fuck is using their abilities first? Or are you just going to get quadruple overlap? I feel like... I don't know what the fuck would happen, actually. Yeah, I, I don't know either. C9 was one of the I best... I think he would still die. Get... I don't think he would just like actually come back to life, but I'm not really sure. You don't think you get Zillion? I mean, you might get Zillion, but I think it would still keep taking you down or oh, something. Oh, like... Oh. Wait, really? I feel like if you get Zillion, you're fine. Because, I mean, like, the weird part is, like, say you got renata and your GA came back up during the Renata W. Like, what happens? Do you get GA revived? Still don't know. Wait, wait, wait. say it again. You, your GA comes up during Renata's W? Yeah, yeah, well, I think you would get GA revived. Yeah, so then it should work the same with Zillion. Yeah, I think I think it would. So, so I mean, you think that like you're getting jumped on, for not all two, you die, you're in the gray hell, yeah, and you get Zillion ulted. You think you just fully come back? Yeah, because yeah, Renata's really. ulti, Renata's ulti, uh, doesn't let you die and then put you back to life. It just delays your death. It just says you cannot die for for this time. Uh-huh. That yeah. sounds like some designer was actually having a field day. Oh my god, this he, is gonna be so cool, he's, guys! He's pretty, he's pretty fucking lame, for sure. <laughs> and then no one was asking, like, yo, is this champ gonna be, like, fun? For anybody involved? I think he's fun. No, nah, but, like, dude, it'll be so unique, you have no idea. He's pretty unique. Oh. Oh god. What is happening here? And and once in. again, Vulcan's uh, fucking champion is just. Oh, oh no. wait, yo, yo, this is it. the combo. This is the we combo. Got to see it. He does come back to life, and oh shit, gets farmed. Oh wow, he actually comes back for real. Wait, that's so weird. Oh my god. Oh, oh wow. Oh, Vulcan made a super play. Vulcan made a super play. Oh. But wait, wait. Holy fuck. Wait. Oh fuck. Hold oh up, is this a Zeri Penta? No, no way, we never see those. No. It actually uh, when was is. the last time we saw a Zeri Penta? It's oh been fucking my minutes. God. Vulcan almost saved the game. That was so fucking crazy. He just punched what Zeri over the, the and almost fuck? got her completely out of the fight. But then uh, she came back and did Zeri shit, so kind of blows. Holy Damn. fuck, man, that was a crazy fight. Impact, that was actually super impact close. stun not hitting Zeri there was totally ridiculous. So wait, how did Blabber end up in this position where he's just like in the pit, surrounded? It felt like Blabber really didn't Freeze. need to keep going forward after his initial uh, suicide. Dude, I thought I thought Vulcan made a pretty fucking smart decision here. A lot of people would just combo. Look what he did. Oh, he actually failed his combo and it worked out. Yeah, I mean, Zeri's E just back over. puts her over the wall. Look at the dude, if Impact... Oh, if Impact just stunned instead of instead of going for that auto. Yeah. That would have been totally different. God damn. Did he, did he wait long enough, though? Because, like, there is a minimum time you have to channel the Counter-Strike before you can reactivate. But he he's allowing Zeri to get out of that range during that time by doing an auto. When oh, the most yeah. important thing is that it True. guarantees the stun. So um, he just kept running after him instead of stopping? 
yeah, just walking with them. It's not that important to get an extra auto in. But I, I also wanted to say that JoJo <laughs> just kind of tossed it at the end, like tossed his body in there at the end for no real reason. Like, he doesn't have kill pressure on anybody, and he just kind of ults in and dies solo to Renata. So <laughs> that was... Super flank? It's like what you were saying, he's just used to following up. Yeah, he's, just, he, he's used to just going f with full commitment without a single thought of like, is this good? Is this bad? And uh, I think it really oh, shows when oh, EG shit. isn't playing great. This a thing? Early right, just... Inspired's not in a good spot. He's actually not dead somehow. What an oh, insane god. Oh my god. Wow. How the fuck Damn, did that I, I work? really feel like Blabber not having Ghost this game is like making his champs so yeah, unplayable. Yeah. Dude, dude are, are, are we just not going to talk about Inspired making the craziest play ever? Was it really what his play though? He kind of got caught and just fucking ran. <laughs> I mean, it, it was started was by wild. his. It was started by his position, and he was like a Counter Strike play where he's like wa watching them walk <laughs> past him, and then he decides, okay, now I'm gonna go. And it like didn't look good. I wouldn't it's... say it was his play though. Like he was looking for it, he didn't actually find anything. He was like, oh fuck. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. He didn't. He didn't do anything crazy. It was or like Dude, he didn't even right here. He just if anything, he's calling, he's... And, and, and he's there like, oh shit, and he starts, starts running, barely gets out. This is insane that he lives this. It just makes the enemy team go crazy, because they're like, what the fuck was that? And then in that moment of confusion, they just all die. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he cloned the double bomb from Zillion. You know, whether or not it worked out the way that he like envisioned it, that would probably not happen if you inserted any of the other journalists in LCS. Like... I don't think EG just randomly wins a fight, gets Baron. What really insane timing too, because it's two minutes on Infernal Soul for the enemy team, so they're gonna have Baron buff active when the enemy team is on that critical like soul point fight moment. They're, I don't, I don't think they should even really be able to contest against Sivir with Baron buff, but they could. What? Is is Blabber building Sterics? Hmm. I don't actually really know the reason I this all that well. Build Sterics. What should he build? Mm, Death Dance. Even Dead Man played, dude. Like he he's actually just getting kited. Like mm. some kind of move speed would be good. I don't think a, a little bit of extra move speed is gonna make a huge difference. Maybe I'm just not a huge Olaf lover, but it's like he either. He, he, he either chilling smite gets zillion sped up and runs at them with ulti or you know he wait does that mean really still have the slow the attached to it speed actually yeah if you're melee so like does it happen on auto or like if he hits an ability i mean q already slows but auto triggers a dead man okay i mean it's all bad more slows actually could be right yeah it's i mean good. it's it's mostly good just like for the initial running up on someone but yeah. I mean, there, there's been two fights now where he's just got fully kited during his ult, and that thing it only lasts two and a half seconds. So and if it you extends can't... on takedown. No, oh, it extends auto like and e. on, on auto. auto or E. Oh, okay. It's like you have to be hitting people for it to continue. The item difference on AD carry right now is extremely important, and uh, the fact that oh my god, he's sitting on running. just like total turd shit items uh, and. Inspired's on his perfect spike is pretty bad for EG. This is actually a very important fight here. Yep. If C9 manages to steal, they just it's get the Infernal only Soul. fight that really matters. The one that fucking gives you 10k gold worth of stats for one team. So let's see it. Wait, Impact has a hold breaker? That seems really counterintuitive for a game where the enemy team's on soul point. Someone wrote that. I didn't see if that's he actually does. real. He does. Huh. I think a win here for EG it. is a, a a a just getting the dragon running. I don't think they win a team fight. Like this seems so I, risky for EG. Like I, dude, holding this is like this. So fucking tense. If EG can get dragon. Yeah, wait. Inspired just smited in their face. Fucking rush it. Yeah, wait. wait that was totally stupid. Yeah. Wait, why did he do that? He, why why? he, 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 he doesn't want the dragon? 
He just what? made a mistake. He just made a mistake. Like, simple as that. That was not. Wasn't thinking. Dude, the Renata Zillion. Oh my god, that's annoying. Yeah, that's why I really. Oh my did god, not Danny almost went way. crazy. Oh wow, there. Olaf died. Oh? And Berserker's not gonna die. He's not a W. Yeah. Yep. That's so toxic. God. How many Damn. times did they have to kill people? Oh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Oh, he's, he died. He, just he actually just ran it down. I guess that's the 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 counter to these comps. The person literally getting bored and killing himself. Nice. Dude, wait, like, what the fuck was that from Inspired, though? There's no way that was real. Oh, 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 Inspired just queued the wrong target. Oh my Inspired's god. Inspired's tilted, man. Holy fuck. And they There's get Sven. so many unforced errors this game. That smite on Crab in their face is for sure muscle memory, autopilot mode. Like, I've, you know, I'm contesting this Crab. Like, he's thinking in the moment only. Like, I mean, that was totally shot. bizarre. Yeah, I mean, he, he's <laughs> low, so he's like, I'm doing this to, like, get the crab and sustain up but then he seemed to forget the part about the dragon being less than half hp right fucking next to him yeah, yeah. that was pretty fucking look at troll. how many times eg has to kill someone for this to work so they kill fudge once he revives and then he revives again so so far they essentially got cheated out of like probably oh my two kills God, Danny and now they kill so berserker once Okay, but he actually revives from uh, from Renato's W, so that's three kills cheated. That's actually <laughs> and... gross. Oh my goodness, that was ridiculous. Wow. True. Same with Zoe, like... Zoe can be really bullshit, but like, she's hard to play and... can die. But, and she's so random. And she's extremely random. And Danny missed the cannon again. That's like the lucky man. He would have had a naive one. by now if he got these. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. It, if he had a, a little bit cannons. more CS, he would have had fucking Lord Dobbs for the last fight. Like he's. Oh my god, this thing's dying. Yeah, it's getting. Spire is not even in range. Good engage by Vulcan, it, but what does it get him? Nothing. He just goes in and dies. He's getting what a left. The... Oh, Spire's oh. hitting a bunch of people, not really doing oh. damage though. This is Wait. one of the most. Wow, that's really deleted. Did a lot of damage. This is one yeah. of the most unplayable drafts I've seen in a while. Like, the gold's close, but I mean, there, there's a soul and just you know, what the fuck yeah. can you do? No. C9 gonna win. Zillion has a mechanic. Say the words. Dude. Zillion's not an enchanter, by the way. It's not. Wait, no. Mikhail Zillion though is that an enchanter? No, no, he's not. I I was told. Can Jojo Dude, make would... up for his other game of Lasana? He didn't clear the wave. I don't think he can, Sneaky. Okay. Oh, charm lands. Oh, one you damage. Don't think he can? Okay. I don't think it was him alone. Huh? Actually, it was. The implications for this is that TL or C9, one of them is not making worlds, which is pretty cool. Yup. EL or C9? I don't know about C9. Hmm. Well, I think Sorry, C9 uh, qualifies if they... C9? C9? EG. EG. If they win? Hmm. What if I just predicted right now that EG wins this game? That's crazy. That would be quite Dude, the miracle. What the Dude, fuck? It, it, it's actually weird to think that C9 just gets worlds from this game when, like... I mean, they, they've been solid, but they haven't looked, like, insane or anything. Like, they, they've just seemed decent. Yeah, upper middle of the pack, they beat CLG in a best of five, and they beat EG the first seed. It's beating like EG is pretty big, but beat, like I think I think EG underperformance. E yeah. yeah, I mean EG is looking so scuffed, and I mean like C9 has had good moments, but they also have moments where they just look so uncoordinated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like they're, I, I think they're still catching their stride, and I mean they're playing pretty well today. Is that what makes playoffs so cool though? Like you actually get to see some closure on like. It feels like the regular season is all just fluff and build up for the, the parts that actually matter, which is these series. Yeah. It's like finally some fucking substance to a game. We get to oh. decide something. That's that's balanced and totally. 883 damage. That looks fun. Full tank. 
Oh, the cooldown is so long, though. It's like... <laughs> Yeah, it's like Luxol. It's like 40 seconds. So oh, wait, it's like... Man, yeah, I really got to question the whole breaker buy oh! in a game like this. Oh my god. There is no universe where... It's game over. It, it's actually Ogre. Who can die? Who can die? Nobody. That designer that you're talking about is fucking crying. Nobody. I'm sure a lot of Get him, Jillian. Get him, Jensen. Crying. Auto attack him. <laughs> GG. C9 there three, it three. is. C9 three one. C9 and a hundred thieves. Holy shit! So it's either it's EG or Liquid. Or will CLG. not make worlds. Or TSM. Or yeah, or or them. What? They're actually in contention still. Yeah, but like I don't think they are the front runners for teams that are going to be going to worlds. True. Damn, the van on support makes worlds. First season, holy shit. It must feel good to also play against his former lane partner on stage. Well, True. in a BF5. And kick his ass first time. Did supporting. he kick his ass, guys? Uh, Yeah, he, yeah. he kind of did. No ash support, though. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, now we get a banger Sven, uh, pro to pro. Yeah, that would be good. 2,000 words a minute. Oh my Rap god, god yeah. Sven. Can we just hear him freestyle for us? <laughs> Hold on, pause the replay. Damn, actually... <laughs> dude, maybe getting a fucking first round buy in playoffs is actually a curse, like... I think it is. It's to a point where I, I feel like the teams that don't the teams coming from the lower bracket or whatever like seem to win more than the team that gets a buy yeah i think it is what about hundred thieves well that one doesn't support my point so i'm not using that data oh okay i see yeah no that makes sense it's weird i think yeah i was watching the the pregame thing for LCK, and they, they said some stat that like the first place team in LCK always wins summer, and then they did it. Oh wow! I was like, that's actually a crazy stat, isn't it? Yeah, the like, first place team winning, like, like I never would have thought the regular season. Yeah, I, I, Wait, I you're really am the first surprised place, that the winning team won. First place regular season in spring when summer. No, or in, first in place? summer, in summer oh, they okay. always win. Wow. Zillion, huh? We had to run it back. <laughs> Did you see Bjergi? Like, wait a second, that looks pretty good. I mean, honestly, it's something we've been practicing for a long time. Um, and it's something we always win with. We brought it out in the tiebreaker in the regular season. I was like, damn, like, maybe we shouldn't have done that because now they'll know about it. But this was the perfect time to do it, and uh, I'm glad it worked out. This, this meta is a lot about, like, AD carry. And, you know, I think we have the best AD carry, so that, that definitely helps. Oh. Um, <laughs> God damn! Yeah. Yeah, it feels like we're finally like in sync as to how we want to play the game, both in like early, mid to late game. So things are finally coming together for us. And the last one, obviously, uh, you're not qualified for us. You don't have to worry about that anymore. It does mean you now have a date with 100 Thieves. Thoughts on that upcoming matchup? Oh, 100 Thieves? Walk in the park. Walk in the park? Walk in the park. I mean, I, I think definitely EG is <laughs> the best team and the toughest opponent we had to face. So, uh, it's, I mean, if we can 3-1 EG, like 100 Thieves. Wow, really? I don't even, I don't even know. Better watch out, Jensen. Thank you so much for chatting with me, as always. Yo, Jensen, uh, so sorry, funny, man. Thank you so much for chatting with me. Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> and uh, good work today. We we're almost done, but not yet. We are going to go to the analyst desk for the Bud Light breakdown. Easy. EG underperformed so hard. I think it's yeah, hard to they, say. Yeah, they did not look good today. I think it's hard to say that 100 Thieves is going to be walking the park. I mean, maybe C9 just played so well that EG couldn't even focus. I don't know, man. Like, JoJo, though? I mean, it was... Shine looked pretty good. It's like the first two games. It was like JoJo and Danny just fucking dying, right? Even mm. Impact, the first game, too. Where's Camille? Just... The first game, too? You mean the second game? <sighs> no, the first game where... 
Fudge was on Camille. Oh, that's game one. Yeah, that's why I said game one. No, you two. said game two. No, I said game one, too. You even <laughs> repeated it back to beat the mess. You said first game two. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I need to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, thought, I thought I remember them losing inspired. early and then just like beating oh, everyone. Oh, they're interviewing Inspire. Uh, how you feeling, man? <laughs> man, how I'm feeling off. No, not the best, I guess. Uh, yeah, makes sense. That first team fight that like decided the game when we had 2K gold up, I feel like an uh, enemy, I think Blubber like went very deep. I think we, if we just keep calm during the fight and just don't run into the Zeri that still has ult up and everything up. I think like Alistar flashed combo. I think Ari like went uh, ran forward and flipped that he will run the charm. I think if we just played slower then maybe maybe they will not get that big of a lead. But the moment Zeri gets a triple kill, I, I don't know how to win yeah. the game. Yeah. Zeri Zillian. Yeah, it's true. I will I will try to make sure that my teammates don't feel too bad because we are obviously not out yet. And uh, if we if we play well, then everyone will forget about this defeat. So uh, I don't know. I will try to cheer my teams up, uh, cheer team up, uh, and and try to do better next game. Yeah, makes sense. Inspire. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. So unexpected. I yeah. mean, C9 really did have to go above and beyond. I'm scratching my back uh, I think with my with fun, mouse wrist. Or sorry, my keyboard. Oh my god, no, wristband. dude. Look, no, jo Inspired is totally right. Did you see that? How the fuck is his memory so good? Does this guy have like fucking? It's probably triggered. Eidetic memory. He is totally right. Jojo did go for a charm that he thought he would hit, but was totally troll. What the fuck? I would never have noticed this in the middle of a team fight. That. Which one on Olaf? No, no, at the very end on Sven, and Sven flashed it, and then what that did was it allowed Berserker to keep his ulti and, and lethal tempo stacks up to clean up the fight. If they just kite back there, it's a totally different situation. Uh, I was curious really what he was talking genders, about there. He talked to us I thought he was talking about Alistair. I didn't really talk about Ari. How did play. Blabber did seem to like stopwatch mid charm? That was pretty weird. Is that like the flash bug? Probably. Yeah, I think so. Jojo definitely played the fight completely fine until that last ulti forward. And like, you know, I think if, you know, the fact that, first off, impressive, he memorized that in the middle of a game. He had just got off this game. But also, uh, yeah, I'd be fucking so furious with. Team funding really well. With JoJo, uh, I was really <laughs> like that shit is just unreal, and man. Fudge in general was just playing great. It's funny uh, before the game we're talking about was also how Fox was like every single member on admiring was JoJo's really locked in on these team fights. split second commitments year, to fights and stuff like that. It's like this is what happens when it goes bad. That's why. I, I, wait, that's why. Well, a lot I thought of he was talking about alley like combo, that. like. Here. We saw at the very start of the day, Emily, you brought up the Are you sure? I, I think it might be this play where he like flashes in and knocks fucking Zeri over the dragon wall. Oh, uh, really? Instead of just killing Fudge. I, he, I thought that's what he said, but like, he said maybe I heard it wrong. JoJo's charm. I don't know. Oh, I thought he said sneaky. something about a combo. Oh, fuck. I, 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 Vulcan, I just, it did I actually fucking break this fight. He, he flashed, pulverized the ground, and then tried headbutting, or he headbutted Berserker out. My chat says mm. that he said both. I oh. think we just both have hearing problems. We're getting old. True. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty ancient. <laughs> Unlucky. Unlucky, guys. Uh, I mean, it was fun, though. I think this whole week was fun. I'll see you guys next week. Yeah, there were some week. nice games. GG's, guys. Have a great day. Or, I guess... Yeah. Whatever the fuck. Am it I is. still coming over later? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let We're me just get the over. outfits ready. Okay. Give me a bit to get ready. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> peace, boys. Peace, boys. <laughs>